A-Try Media, DZRJ, ang himpilan ng bawat Pilipino. It's here, the only radio talk show, made specially for all workers of the call center industry. Call Center Radio, it aims to become a platform for conversation about anything related to the call center industry. We'll have different guests every week to discuss some tips, advices, and share inspiring stories of BPO employees. Call Center Radio, call Center Radio. hosted by N.A. Buendia, Frank Rizzo, and Tanya Sempron, every Sunday, 7 to 8 a.m. Only here at DZRJ, 8 10 a.m. A-Try Media, ang himpila ng bawat Pilipino. Good morning mga ka-teammates and welcome po sa isa na namang episode ng Call Center Radio, a show made specially for our teammates in BPO. And muli sa pamumuno po ng aming founder and producer, walang iba kundi ang voice master of the Philippines, Sir Pachuelo de Leon Gonzalez. Kami po ang inyong mga ka-teammates sa BPO. I am your call center vlogger. My name is M.A. Buendia. And I am your engineer BPO teammate, Tanya Sampran. Good morning. I am your events host, ka-teammate, the terrific host, Frank Rizzo. Good morning. Alam kang mata sa bosses ngayon na hindi ka-talk. Pumipiyok. Ano lang ngayari? Overused ako kagabi sa Tagaytay. Congrats. At ano to hosting na hosting ng day. wedding. Wow. Ikaw naman ano tanya kumusta? I'm yung... really really sick so hindi siya concert. How oh, I wish. <laughs> Medyo ano lang um developed allergy kasi siya and the weather is not helping at all. Pero we're still here. Good morning. Yes, good yeah. morning sa lahat mga nakatutok especially <laughs> sa ating live streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. Yes, 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 yes. Um guys, we would like to remind you that we are online streaming via 8 uh, www.atrymedia.com You can also like us on Facebook at www.facebook slash atrymedia and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at atrymedia Yes, good morning hindi lamang sa mga tagapakinig natin dito sa Metro and Mega Manila pati na din sa ating mga tagapakinig sa ating mga provincial provincial provinces where live simulcast sa DYME Masbate 107.1 Power FM Puerto Princesa Palawan and 9 97.1 Wow FM Rojas Northern Palawan. Good morning, guys. Good morning. And dinabati ko lang po ang A Tri Media again sa kanilang award na best yes. broadcasting company uh, uh, sa best choice award. So congratulations po. And of course, this program is brought to you by Creative Voices Productions and the Pathology Academy. Yes, that's right. Zuri natin magpasalamat sa sa president ng A Tri Media na si Miss Kay Dacer at sa ating program manager na si Sir Nestor Doria. Marami Maraming maraming salamat po sa malaking pagtitiwala ninyo sa amin. Thank you so much. At today ay isa na naman itong exciting episode. So sabi ko nga diba, season 2 is actually bolder, longer, kasi tayo ay napapahinggan mula alas 6 hanggang alas 8 ng umaga. Every Sunday po yan mga ka-teammates. At ngayon pag-uusapan natin ng isang trending na topic. Diba? Lately mm, naging okay. parang issue on depression. Yes. So ngayon, medyo related siya doon kasi it's all about career anxiety. So hindi lang to call center um, related issue sa lahat ng mga empleyado like from janitor hanggang CEO nakakaranas po ng mga depression or career anxiety so kung kayo ay nakaranas before or plano nyo maranas <laughs> or hindi nyo pa nararanasan <laughs> oo sana makarelate kayo or sana marami kayo matutunan dito sa ating episode for today kasi marami tayong mga guests sa ating booth let's get to know them ay yung disclaimer mo the yeah views. the views and opinions <laughs> expressed by our guests and the hosts do not necessarily state or reflect those of their company and the management. Kasi mahirap na, okay? Huwag yes. na natin mention yung company name. Uh, oh. Nandito sa script ko. Oh tanggalin God. natin yung ano, tanggalin natin yung company name. Sige, tanggalin na natin, ha? So, our first guest. So, our first guest. He's a network engineering team lead with seven years of experience in the field of IP networks, wireless security, and telco industries. Prior to a career in IT, he was a manufacturing engineer for two years with focus in process, engineering, and data analytics. He's a former ECE college instructor with BS ECE degree and multiple professional IT certification. He does photography focusing on events, portraits, and landscape. He loves to play computer games and meditate to reflect and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, Miko Unite! 
Good morning. Good morning, good morning to listeners and to our viewers. Ang ganda ng boses, pwedeng pang newscast, <laughs> pwedeng pang broadcaster. Frank, may pamalit na tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Mas boses broadcaster pa siya. Sa- sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. Okay, so meron tayong ikalawang kasama. He has over 13 years of experience in the business process outsourcing industry, specializing in quality management, training and de- development, recruitment and process in- improvement. He's currently working as the innovations lead for one of the largest and most popular search engine in the world. Outside of work, he's an active member of the Light of Jesus family, aka the Feast. He's also into interior designing, singing, and life coaching. Please welcome Aubrey Ian Alovera. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yep. thanks for ano pagpapa- sa pagpapaunlak sa aming invitation. Mm, Napakagod ng call time, time ah. Correct. 5.30 pa lang nandito na po sila. So, yan. Clap, clap. clap. Yay! <laughs> so, yun nga. Pag-uusapan nga natin yun all about career anxiety. Mga issues na nararanasan ng mga, hindi lang naman mga taga call center or hindi lang mga taga BPO pero lahat. Okay? At one point dun sa career ninyo, mga ka-experience kayo dun na parang you feel down. Kasi hindi naman araw-araw Pasko sa office. Mm-hmm. So, kahit sa business, mga, basta marami tayong mga issues. So, speaking of yun nga, yung mga issues yung lately naging trending yung depression. Oh, yung gawa-gawa lang daw. Yung mga gawa-gawa <laughs> lang. So, e, di ba, serious yung topic na yun. So, ngayon, try natin itakil kung ano ba yung mga nagiging cause, ano yung mga symptoms, and then paano siya ma-overcome. Okay? So, yung topic natin talaga ngayon, how to overcome career anxiety. But first, let's get to know our guests, di ba? Um, let's start with Miko Onite. How did you get started in the, the BPO industry? It was actually by accident. Um, before I worked for that big BPO company, uh, I was working as a subcontractor for mm-hmm. a field deployment. So I was a network engineer, but I was just a contractor. Mm-hmm. So we were deployed to different manufacturing companies in uh, Laguna. And we were the network consultant there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, well, okay as well, but the benefits, you know, because I'm a subcontractor. It's different. So the totality of the benefits is not as good as um, when you're a direct hire for, from a, a good company. Mm-hmm. So I was just headhunted. Actually, it's uh, I quit my job. Mm-hmm. That was a decision. Um, I did not renew my contract because of a personal decision. Uh, maraming factors, in, but it's actually related to the yeah. anxiety. Okay. Um, marami on, um career progression. Mm-hmm. Um, yung benefits mo um, even the leadership not necessarily yung client but uh, my employer so I decided to quit and buti na lang in a, within a few months three months yata um, na hire ako you got BPO. hired yeah. okay. and then how long have you been staying in this company? Now? five years Mm-hmm. Five years, wow, my loyalty, yeah. di ba? Loyalty already. <laughs> so ngayon naman, t- tanongin natin sa Aubrey, um, how did you get started in the BPO? Kasi you're currently the, the manager for training and development. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, um, after I graduated, I already started uh, working in the BPO industry uh, because at that time, it was really booming. Mm-hmm. So, and then... I, I know that it entails taking calls, you know, English communication skills. So I think that's what I had, that's what I have. So that's why I pursued the the, the industry. And then um, after four months, I got promoted as quality assurance coordinator. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I, I I moved to the support group, support okay. department. So became quality coordinator and then uh, training quality lead. And then I also became a recruitment lead, mm-hmm. then an operations lead. So pretty much in, for the past 13 years, I've uh, I took different roles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow! So about it, 13 years. Yeah. 13 years. So you can imagine the anxiety because oh, of the different the, the changing roles that I I went through. So. Ikaw ba, Frank? Ano bang mga anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> Ang dami eh. Ayun nga. Eh. Kasi lalo na pa nag-start ka talaga doon from the bottom, like from an agent. Tapos may kita mo yung, nag, nag, yung sabi nga kanina na Aubrey, nag-change ng roles. Siyempre yung mga responsibilities yeah. mo na dadagdagan. O okay, kung nalilipat ka ng project. How about you, Tanya? Yung, ikaw naman nag-move ka from different industry. Yes. Di ba? 
So like me ko na, I, I came from first job experience ko is actually manufacturing. So yung tipong um, after graduation ka, iba yung ideal small about work ka. Yung, yung parang y- you'd like na perfect talaga siya the first time. So yeah. yung pagpunta ko doon, it's very um nakakakaba because I'm from I'm from the Queen City of the South and I went to Laguna. So totally different environment and I didn't know what the job was about. So mm-hmm. nung yung yung um, uncertainty, the, the the fear of the uncertainty is actually waking me um worry about yeah. things. Correct. Yun yung nag-consume sa akin. So every time I move in a different industry, um yun talaga the same feeling na parang what am I supposed to do sa susunod? Yeah. Yun yun eh, yun yung especially yung, yung nag-abroad ka pa, diba? Yes, like yun, lalo yun. <laughs> <laughs> ang layo mo sa ano, layo mo sa family mo, ang layo mo sa support system mo. So how are you gonna lahat ng what ifs nandun sa mind mo which yeah. is consuming you which is to um resulting to mga yun anxiety um sa pangs nga kung sinabi nila separation anxiety uh-huh. meron ka pang work anxiety depression and all so very difficult correct saka ano napansin ko rin kasi <laughs> I, I opened my ano my help mm-hmm. chat line chat wow. <laughs> sabi ko kasi doon sa mga followers ko if you need someone to talk to just message me mm-hmm. pwede hindi ako makapagreply agad pero I read them and then minsan kasi sa kanila kailangan lang nila talaga ng kausap especially yes. mga depressed and most of them it's either ang issue nila love or career yeah. okay doon sa love mas na natat- <laughs> 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 Pwede na pag-usapan natin yung love Pero promise, parang sabi ko Ganito yung mga problema ng mga Minsan mga 20s, i- mga teenagers mm-hmm. Pero minsan may mga nag-message din sa akin Especially last um, Siyempre hindi ko naman mababagitan yung mga names nila yes. Pero may nag-message sa akin from Japan uh, Taga Brunei siya kasi And then ang, ang anxiety niya kasi um, Sobrang lungkot, na-homesick siya So marami mga OFWs na nakakarana sa mga ganun yes. Like sa- especially yung side man Nag-move ka from Cebu mm-hmm. to Laguna so, To Laguna, medyo preparatory na yun. Medyo, um, you were living on your own ba? Yes. Uh-uh. I, um, that was the first time na nag-declare ako ng independence. I didn't even know na ganun pala yung feeling. Basta yeah. pinaruhan ko lang yung job offer. Tapos I realized ko, hulo, laguna pala yun. <laughs> 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 Kasi ako yung nag-start naman ako noong 2010 isang company although hindi pa naman ako lumilipat ng company pero nagpalipat-lipat ako ng project mm-hmm. kasi parang every uh, yung first two projects ko nagsa-sunset siya so yung mga hindi po nakalaman nagsa-sunset ibig sabihin nag-close yung oh, accounts oh, yes. so I don't din na nagre-renew ng contract yung client o kaya naman tinatapos nila yung contract so pag ganun nandun yung anxiety na yun yung uncertain di ba yung job security mo na tsaka napipito pa ako nun eh yung parang floating oh parang my parang god mga, uh, <laughs> nakarelate si Frank <laughs> yung, yung mga hindi mo alam trabaho pa ba ako two weeks akong two weeks actually two months two months akong uh, na PTO na hindi mo alam kung may papasokan ka pa ba gusto mo namang apply sa iba tapos uh-huh. ayun mo naman na tsaka may bond pa kami noon mm-hmm. so one year ka dapat magstay so uh, every year Naglilipat-lipat ako ng project and ininisip ko, may balat ba ako? Kasi lahat ng project <laughs> na pinupuntahan ko, nags- nagko-close, nagsa-sunset. So, the, the problem with that, parang imbis na doon ka na sana sa promotion, syempre back to zero ka na naman. Uh-huh. Performance mo, nagbe-build ka na naman ng, ng ano mo Credibility, Back yes. to zero ka ulit. So, isa yun doon sa mga pinaka, kasi napaka-fast pace ng call center industry. So, di ba? Today you're in, tomorrow you're out. Yes, ito. <laughs> so, isa yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Have you experienced career anxiety ba, Miko? Yes, multiple times. Uh, yeah. First job. Tell us something about how was it like? Yeah. First job uh, after board exam, mm-hmm. um, I worked as a college instructor. Uh, mm-hmm. It was okay. The experience was okay. Very fulfilling job. But the finances or the financial part. Uh, the income niya hindi. Ah. Oh, because 2006. Um, ano yun? Nababa teacher son. Um, so I had to shift. Um, I want to teach. That's something that I want to do. But it's not going to fill my pockets to yeah, support yeah, yeah. my family and my future or my growth. So I, I look for a job and then that entered manufacturing. Mm-hmm. Manufacturing, yes, you are in the field. You're working, you're engineering stuff. Though hindi yun yung mga pinag-aaralan nyo sa school. And not directly, but you're you're making impact you're 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 doing something geeky you're doing something great you're helping the company and the world but uh, it wasn't my real interest mm-hmm. yeah it's good analytics <laughs> process engineering um, you can get good at it but in your heart you'll feel that well it's not something that I'm I really want to pursue mastery mm-hmm. uh, on so ako, I'm a, I'm a geeky 
person so nasa IT infrastructure yung gusto ko uh, tagal lang ako may com- interest in computers technology and so so one of our electives was uh, network engineering in college mm-hmm. and that was one of the tracks that I want to pursue mm-hmm. it was really difficult to shift mm-hmm. when you are in a different industry mm-hmm. you're gaining experience differently from what is needed yeah, outside I know. so you're gaining one year two years experience but if you're going to apply as a network engineer you're a newbie Yes. Yeah, for hindi siya nakikredit, no. Yes, hindi oh. siya nakikredit. Tapos, uh, yung mga oras na yon, uh, um, yung mga hiring, they are looking for one year or three years experience. They are not open to fresh grads or newbies. Oh, nga. paano ka experience, no? Yes. <laughs> mga company rin kailangan ng experience na yes. muna. Yes. Eh, ayun yung nga tumanggap ng walang experience, eh. <laughs> exactly. Pero gigil si ako. <laughs> hiring ngayon na parang we're open to fresh grads ganyan good thing about good it good thing tsaka yung mga undergrads at least di ba mas open yung opportunities kasi ang dami yung trabaho pero wala nang ano yes oh, wala employee walang fit oh. yeah. yeah so yung paano kayo nag move ka naman dun sa BPO na Uh, How was it? No. Well, the transition, yung, yung pinaka mahirap doon or may malaking sacrifice moving from the manufacturing to uh, network engineering. Mm-hmm. Well, di pa naman, well, considered as BPO na rin yun eh, nung naging subcontractor ako. So I had to decide when I was working in the manufacturing industry, do I want to pursue being a network engineer or do I want to stay in the manufacturing industry and uh, malabo yung growth? Mm-hmm. Or hindi ko alam kung gusto ko mag-progress. So I had to decide. Ang ginawa ko noon, um, I applied, marami I had so many failures, 20 or 30 at time failed interviews ko. Mm. Yeah. Sa B- um, BPO ka? Uh, well, hello. Industry, yeah. Basta network engineering yung yung role. Ang tsaga um, mo, no? Ang tsaga ko, <laughs> oo. Kasi Kaya, uh-huh. karamihan doon sa mga ina ko talaga yung mga 3 years or something. Kasi 2 years na ako sa job. So, yeah. uh, yung mga entry level kasi nila, mababa din. Swell, no? So, mm-hmm. ano, magda-downgrade ka. So, I had to make a choice. Ang ginawa ko noon, I, I actually sacrificed my job. Kasi I need to train. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need uh-huh. to self-study. Kailangan to get mo ng the mga skills. certifications. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, certifications yung una kong tinignan. But I'm more after the skills. Eh. Kasi mm-hmm. uh, yun yung susukat sa interview and then yung um, actual job. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, so I quit my job. Kasi hindi ako makapag-aral pag galing ka sa manufacturing. O tika araw-araw. Eh. Tapos pagod ka na. Uh, pag Naka-related uli mo. Nakarelated tayo niya <laughs> <laughs> Pagod ka na. I want to study. Pero nakakatulog ka. Tapos may laboratory pa yung mga network engineering staff. So, I can't do it. So, nag-quit ako. Um, it was October. Nakahanap akong trabaho noon next year pa. So, talagang inipon ko yung pera ko. Um, Tapos, nag-research ako ng mga materials. I studied during that resignation period. Yeah. Good thing, good, then, may, meron kang nasave. Good yeah. thing nga may nasave mm-hmm. ako. Kasi it was a long decision. First year ko pa lang sa company, parang mm-hmm. ko na alam eh. <laughs> First day And, pa lang, hindi, ayaw ko na. <laughs> And you know what, during that period na nag-iisip siya or nag apply siya, meron na kagad anxiety yes. dun eh. Oh, dun oh. pa lang sa decision making na ano pa yung ipuperso ko. Kasi marami sa atin din na makakarelate dun sa um, sitwasyon na ang dami mong gustong gawin sa buhay. May mag events host na lang ba ako? mag diretsya ba ako sa pag- uh, Listen experience ba ito? <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. may, oh, may nag-text sa akin. Oh, charat lang. So, mag-continue mag, uh, pa ba ako mm-hmm. bilang employee or I will wear off my employee hat and all that uh, there's freelance yeah na lang. Oh, freelance na lang. there's a depression as well or anxiety mm-hmm. on that part because it's a big decision to make especially if uh, there are other people involved say your family your yeah. family person yeah. or wala kang savings at all yeah. wala kang ano ang tawag dito um uh, samahan ko ninyo correct diba? yung emergency fund yes. kaya importante yon so very good Pero, no diba nag board exam and then naging teacher and then naging manufacturing the shift actually caused the anxiety yes. yung board exam pa lang diba parang pagpalapit na yung day kinakabahan ka na in all for for most people siguro let's let's try to define what is anxiety kasi mm-hmm. baka mamaya ay eh, misinterpret nila na paghala pag kinakabahan ng ako eh, na anxiety na to oh, oh. Yeah. kaya ma- emotional ka na ayaw mo lang talaga ng boss mo anxiety <laughs> <laughs> although okay, cause siya yes. pero diba factor yung, siya mm, diba? pero when did you guys um, know na shocks this is really anxiety I am feeling right now or I'm getting more and more depressed every yeah, did, day did you get uh, no, did you experience that Aubrey yeah multiple anxieties <laughs> uh, actually <laughs> how was it um, sige in my case kasi like in the BPO industry yes MA mentioned it's a mm-hmm. fast uh, paced industry so yes. means and even the promotion is fast mm-hmm. yeah. so me in my case uh, when I graduated nga, I started working na in the BPO industry and then 
in a span of four months, I got promoted as QA na. Mm-hmm. So, para at that time, parang wow, parang... Overwhelming, uh, no? Ang taas na ng sweldo mo when you started as an agent and then got promoted already. So, parang medyo dumoble na konti. Correct. And then, all the while, you know, everything was uh, going smoothly for like eight years. And then, boom, nag-sunset din yung account mm-hmm. namin. Mm-hmm. So, at that time, the, the, I think the my learning there is that Um, I was very complacent with my position as QA yeah. that time. Because mm-hmm. I was promoting it and that. So, and then I didn't really invest in learning new skills or new, uh, you know, new Kasi knowledge. Because it's comfort zone. Na siya, no? comfort zone na siya. And Correct. then, yeah. until yun nga, nag-sunset na siya, and then there was no choice but to deploy ka to other positions, <laughs> which I was deployed to recruitment. So that was my, one of my biggest anxieties because yun nga, I realized that parang So what skills do I have now? I mean, Correct. if I apply, would I apply to another company? Because they're deploying me to recruitment, which is not really my my forte. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yun nga, so no choice. Um, I became a a, a recruiter mm-hmm. um, for how long? For two years. Oh. For two years, okay. And then so sobrang ano siya, um, sobrang na culture siya ako kasi in QA very introverted yung work nyan. You're just listening to calls yeah. mm-hmm. and then transcribing, analyzing, and then coaching. Correct. But in recruitment, although you're conducting interviews, but you know there's job fairs. You go to you know from one mall to another. Yung talagang mm-hmm. mall tour ngayon. You actually namin go dun. out face to face with people. You go out diba? fa- face to face, and even sometimes you do conduct interviews in MRT platforms. Yeah. <laughs> so magen <laughs> parang medyo ano siya. It, it was also a humbling experience for me because that time I I felt like I was. Uh, really privileged as yeah. a QA and then suddenly para okay I had to conduct interviews multiple interviews in a mm. day uh, and then deal with different kinds of people na sobrang you know halo-halo halo-halo talaga, halo talaga siya so yun uh, the sign that I was that I felt that I was you know depressed or I was experiencing anxiety was ano na medyo hindi na ako, hindi na ako nakatulog ng maayos mm. because I was I constantly <coughs> think of ano yung next step ko na with my career. Yeah. And then, I, yun nga sabi ko, so ano ba talagang gusto ko kay Fine? So QA, wala na available na QA post. Uh, so I started planning, ano ba yung mga skills, ano ba yung mga strength ko, ano pa yung kailangan kong aralin. Mm-hmm. I think that time, I I even tried taking masters. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang feeling ko, I wasn't that marketable anymore. Because yun nga, yeah. I was really comfortable with my job. So, ano siya, masters in the morning. Uh, I think that was uh, business administrate, uh, business ad. Ad, okay. And then uh, work naman sa gabi. So very ano siya, very stressful. Tas nagquit din ako, hindi ko rin natapos yung masters na yun because parang I was just doing it because parang pressed for time na ako kailangan ko maging marketable so yeah. that when I apply to Maybe another job na equal siguro yung position or yung salary, medyo may edge ako mm-hmm. but but no. <laughs> medyo ang hirap talaga niya. And then after that, so after recruitment naman, I became a team lead naman na. Mm-hmm. And that was also out of my comfort zone because this time you're handling agents, you know, different yeah. personalities. You have yes. to manage their metrics and all that. So, sobrang ano, and dami, mm. and dami yata lang. Kaya yung iba talaga sa call center na pansin niya it's either uh, tumataba talaga sila. Excuse <laughs> 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 Well, anyway, siya sabi ko siya kasi yeah. yun yung nagiging mm, ano, yung ano, matter of fact. Correct, correct. Yung sobrang na nice stress yes. or siya sabi mo nga malaking yun swell mo kasi regardless naman yung kung ano yung title mo or regardless yung kung magkano yung salary mo if you are not really happy or if you're if you don't feel na fulfilling pa yung job nandun talaga yung stress di ba and, uh, and there's the feeling na gusto mong ano maglabas that you need an outlet yeah, yeah. correct kasi iniisip ng iba na super privilege ka. May ang swerte-swerte mo nung ina 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 ini ina 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 from UK ah, as si Aisha pero her name in Facebook is Maya Isabella so di ba you were experiencing you're experiencing anxiety multiple in, in fact so parang how did you guys manage to overcome it parang okay um, this in acknowledge niya siya na this is anxiety already and how did you plan to rule on top of it okay ikaw Miko <laughs> acknowledgement part Yes, it's important, mm-hmm. but actually you can overcome it without even being aware that you're having anxiety. Exactly, I was supposed to ask, <laughs> parang how, how are you, uh, how would you know that you're experiencing uh, anxiety na pala? Kasi nung sa akin, yung sa shift ko, mm-hmm. um, 
<laughs> ako minado ako I didn't know it was already a, a form of anxiety yung uncertainty dun sa career track ko mm-hmm. but at that point kasi it was being firm with your decision and being uh, knowledgeable or that you know what you want and where to go mm-hmm. I think and sticking it is sticking up to that plan um, I think that's one way to attack uh, anxiety uh, meron mang cases na kapag hindi mo siya accepted you're not going to do anything about it mm-hmm. so you, yeah. you, you're not gonna decide you're not gonna prepare for the move and you're not gonna act if you're not aware uh, that you have a form of anxiety. Or you don't mm-hmm. embrace it. Right? You don't yeah. embrace it. In, in denial ka. Na, mm-hmm. ano. But yung multiple anxiety mo na na-feel, <laughs> i- iyan, right? Yep. You would, um, syempre multiple siya, pero you didn't ask for professional help pa naman. Kaya no, po pa siya. Not really, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough na I have support group naman and then, mm-hmm. you know, there's this com- you know, spiritual community that I uh, attend frequently so medyo nakatulong siya but one thing that I really did was ano simple lang I just mm-hmm. had to keep on swimming mm-hmm. <laughs> yun lang talaga siya minsan kasi parang you'll run out of things to to do it to address whatever anxiety you have kasi that's really the situation that's mm-hmm. it is what it is mm-hmm. but uh, I just have to keep on swimming and then eventually yun andito na ako I'm, I think I'm in a better place now <laughs> so and you're stronger there's, now there's hope and I'm stronger yeah. now correct yeah. mm-hmm. I ask lang natin ano yung mga normally na contributing factors kasi like for example yung iba na mga nasa abroad o FW yung kung totoo sa'yo di ba uh, iniisip agad natin na uh, greener pasture na yung yung like mga nasa barko may mga yeah. nag-message siya ka na mga ganyan na ang ganda-ganda ng sahod ko rito or whatever is it the salary the job ano yung mga factors like is it your co-workers may mga na-experience ka ba na ganun or is it the company or ito ba yung ano parang uh, yung um ano ba to yung task mm-hmm. meeting deadlines si isa ba yun sa mga nagko-cause ng ano anxiety i think so oh mar- maraming factors yan the job you really like what you're doing in your job mm-hmm. yeah. baka naman mamaya eh, introverted ka tapos ang trabaho mo tulad ng sinabi mo is an extrovert type na trabaho, trabaho. Mm-hmm. you're gonna feel pressure sa pag-conduct pa lang or paggawa ng trabaho mo um, number two co-workers baka naman iba yung kultura nila sa uh, kind of uh, character that you have mm-hmm. um, pangatlo dyan syempre yung boss are they supportive of you yeah. inahayaan ka ba nilang mag-extend ng effort past your limit try things and fail mm-hmm. that's important paano nila treat yung failure mo mga ganun uh, yes the benefits of course kasi pag kulang yung pera stress yun kasi you're living paycheck to paycheck you're not you're not sure if you are going to finance your future well uh, maraming factors yeah. Yeah. Ano, yung, ano yung factor na parang feeling mo pinaka-manageable pinaka-manageable na parang hello yan lang problema mo parang gano'n wow. is it the boss <laughs> or out of the uh, things that you mentioned yeah kasi syempre ikaw marami ka na experience yun know? yeah the boss um, yeah it can be manageable but I think one of the better factors to manage is the job type. Which track are you currently tracking and is it really for you? Yeah. Yes. Don't choice. <laughs> it's either you reskill mm-hmm. and then move on to a better career track for you. Mm-hmm. Or you stay, magtiis, magsyaga. You don't do anything about it, magpakatibay lang and uh, suffer the consequences if there is in the future. Kasi mas madali yun kasi... F- um, sarili mo yung involved. Mm-hmm. If you want to change something in yourself, then mas madaling baguhin. You can't really change your boss, your, your co-workers, or You're the culture. You're more in control of it. You're but more I in know. control in whatever that's about you. Yeah. Mm, ganda na sinabi na niya na if the job is really for you or we can, uh, that, that it equates to if you put yourself to a situation na hindi mo naman talaga gusto. Say, um, you are working in the BPO pero ayaw mo talaga pala mag-work sa BPO. Correct. You are working in the finance um, uh, uh, company, pero ayaw mo talaga sa finance, gusto mo pala talaga magbanda, mga ganyan. So, it's very important for you to know your core, what it is that you really want, and you bank on that, uh, para happy ka lang lagi sa kung ano ginagawa mo. Kaya nga ngayon may mga programs na, di ba, yung K-12, yung sa school pa lang, parang Ready yung na course na pipiliin nila, it's talagang gusto nila. And then, mm-hmm. hindi, feeling ko kasi, the, the Filipinos right now are becoming more assertive, mm-hmm. uh, especially, di ba, voicing out what they really want. Kasi before, pag nag-decide yung parents mo na magdodok ka, kahit na gusto mo naman talaga mag-mechanical oh, oh. or mag-engineer, di ba? Minsan walang choice. So, ano nangyayari nun, 
uh, napupunta sila doon after ng graduation, nagkakaroon sila ng so much anxiety na parang hindi naman talaga nila ginusto yon yung yung career track na dinisight sa kanila ng ibang tao. So at Totoo. least ngayon, siguro kung magkakaroon nga kayo ng cho- ng dapat meron kayong choice. Kailangan meron kayong say doon exactly. doon pa lang college pa lang um gawin niyo na siya or kaya naman for example nakagraduate na kayo wala na kayong choice feeling nyo you can go back to school or pursue yung mga magmasters kayo or try ano certifications yeah. ano yung pinaka nag cause na go ahead y- yung ano yung parang if you really want to succeed into something diba you hahanapin mo yung bakit ba ako nandito if it purpose. is not yeah if, if the purpose and your your biggest why is not solid enough mag give up ka talaga. To yeah. tell you honestly, that made me give up dun sa um, Dubai ko. Mm-hmm. Because, yes, I was earning um, a big amount of cash kasi medyo walang tax doon. Mm-hmm. So, and it's a different country. More than the, um, more than the feeling na namimiss ko yung, yung family ko, it was the feeling na ayoko everyday ganito yung nararanasan ko. Yeah. Because it was a customer fronting job. And mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people Stressful tend to siya. to shout at you, yung sinasabihin ka ng mga the F word. And all. But, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, mar- bata pa ako nun. So parang it, it went into my bones and my emotions. So everyday, iniisip ko, is it really worth it? Mm-hmm. Yun. So wala akong pang backup na hindi. Kailangan ko to through thick and pain. Kailangan maging matatag ako dito. But I had an option. Eh. Na parang, oh, this is not what I really want. So I I might as well go home and find my marketability in my own country. Mga ba yun, meron sa commercial, di ba? Yung para kanino ka bumabangon. Yeah, yeah. Meron pa, para saan ka ba bumabangon? Yeah. Ano ba yung value na ibibigay mo sa society na magiging fulfilling sa'yo na fit sa talents, so God-given talents to you, uh, at saka yung individuality mo, yung personality mo. Minsan There's a kasi better par- fit. Uh, minsan kasi parang yung at first ayaw mo nung ginagawa mo and then you, you learn to love, love what you eventually, do. Eventually. Eventually, uh-huh. makita mo na, oh, marirealize mo na talented naman pala ako sa ganitong accounting, yeah. OOC naman pala ako deep inside. Yes. So, mas, mas critical ka sa details. My discovery yeah. kang Oo, minsan mas may discover mo yung sarili mo. Kaya nga, sabi nila, if you want to start doing something, just start. <laughs> kasi nga, minsan, iba kasi may mga, yun nga, fear ng failure. Or ayaw uh-huh. nilang try. And uh, there, there's never um, a wrong time to do the right thing. Yeah. If you feel that it, that thing is right for you, then that's the time for you to do it. Mm-hmm. Say now, you are realizing something sa discussion natin na, oh nga no, bakit pala ako nandito sa job na to? Bukas nga makapag-apply na kaagad. Ganyan. If you're realizing something, then do so. Yeah, how about yeah. you, ano, Aubrey? Ano yeah, yung so, pinaka-naging, pinaka-naging contributing factor dun sa mga anxiety? I can, yeah, definitely say na it's the job type. Kasi nga, Uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, when I became QA, parang I found my passion there talaga, yung coaching, you know, guiding mm-hmm. people and analyzing. And then, when I had to change careers nga because of the sunset and all that, parang sobrang hindi ako to eh. Parang sabi nga ni, ano kanina, ni Mike, uh, it, you know, I had to perform uh, extroverted roles pero ako naturally kasi not really an introvert but ambivert I would say yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can you know I enjoy being alone but I also enjoy being with other people but sobra you know being a team lead that you have to you know uh, deal with parang, behaviors deal with behavior yeah. kailangan mamandahan may mga tao you have to be stern you have to be strict but it wasn't really like you know it wasn't really me but yun nga we, we were talking about core mm-hmm. your your core competencies um, I I for some reason it's really interesting na I also found yung yun nga yung parang my passion for coaching mm-hmm. nandun na pala sa pagiging team yeah. although yes. it was really different from you know from, from my comfort zone but I found na yun you're, you're able to influence siya. you know yes. nandun pa rin yung core mo and yun din sa you know they say that the best antidote to fear is action so yes. just like what MA said a while ago you have to start just, yes. have, just have to start acting kasi minsan you know yung analysis paralysis nga na if you keep on thinking about it tapos parang lalo ka na na depress mm. lalo na dadagdagan yung anxiety yeah. mm. you, dwell on, you, you dwell on things na hindi pa nga nangyayari di ba? Uh-huh. masyadong negative kasi masyadong ang concern sa outcome so we have to take a break po mga ka-teammates <laughs> sa pagbabalik po natin pag-uusapan pa rin po natin ibang mga causes symptoms and then yung mga tips of course on how you can overcome career anxiety so time check in the Philippines at 6.38 a.m. stay with us
Welcome back to Call Center Radio mga ka-teammates and pinag-uusapan pa rin po natin how to overcome career anxiety kasama natin in the booth today we have Miko Onite and Aubrey Ian Alovera but before that we have a bunch of questions from our Facebook live viewers so kung nakatutok po kayo ngayon sa aming live streaming over Facebook please go ahead and comment down below and share this live broadcast with your friends so batiin muna natin yung mga nag-online we have Romer Escritor we have Between Star Clifford, Abela, Gamponya, DMD, Jet Ramos, Hello Sir Jet, JR Ramos, Maya Isabela, Romeo, R. Miranda, Frandi Angelo, mm. Villanera, and we have Gary, Gary Labasa. Labasa yes. Good yep. morning guys! Just mention yung mga questions pala nila so para ma-address natin before we move on to our ano, other topics. Okay. Uh, coming from Maya Isabella, sabi niya, um, how are you going to deal or handle if you're no longer happy with your job but you don't have a choice to resign because you are thinking of the age required if you're going to apply for another job? Mm-hmm. Okay. If uh, there's already limitations involved, yeah. pero the fact that sa akin na, pero the fact that you are no longer happy, um, it's no longer worth it for you to stay in, in that uh, um uh, job that you are right now. Have you, have you exhausted your your options, your choices? Yeah. Kung okay, meron man. Sa loob ng company nila. Uh huh. Not necessarily you resign, department. but you move. Yeah, move to a different project. Kasi right. yung mag-apply ko sa ibang company, yun pero may qualification sila na age. Mm-hmm. Pero kung within the company lang naman, it doesn't matter. Diba? Yes. So, try... Yeah, like, diba, um, different industries yung napasukan ko. Actually, if you can look at my um, CV, you can't see any um, specific connections between my my positions. Parang galing manufacturing, tapos biglang nag-automobile, tapos after automobile, a BPO, tapos after BPO, manufacturing ulit. So, pero hindi related yung mga roles together. What I... Yung key takeaway ko lang is actually, paminsan, nakaka-overwhelm yung requirements na nakalagay sa job descriptions and all. Yeah. Pero Kahit hindi naman lahat eh. sinusunod nila, so, di ba? Pero, um, you wouldn't know really if um, kaya mo yan or mapapasok ka dyan if you didn't try. So, I guess, apply. try and apply. Ask and, during yeah. the interview. Yes. And you will, parang dun mo malalaman if you're really not fit for it and sasabihin naman ng interviewer or hindi ka naman tatawagan in the first yeah. place. Tsaka, depende yun sa role na applyan mo. If yes. ever na higher role na siya, hindi naman na yung mga parang entry level. Mm-hmm. Yung yung age, kasi mas, mas gusto nga nila, mas mature ka na eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mas, mas, mas experienced. Managers or whatever. And, dito sa Philippines, kung may mga issue kayo ng ganyan, yung mga age. Yeah. For example, yung mga OFW na babalik dito. Alam ko, hanggang ngayon, mga close to senior citizen, qualified pa rin. Yeah, kasi diverse na nga yung Oo, ano natin. Wala naman discrimination when it comes manpower to natin. age. We have another question here from Den Morales Ratay. Uh, can, can we read it? Uh, what about... What about getting older for the job that do not really want to be in it, but you just have to do it for the money and it became your comfort zone? Mm, comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Yan, yeah, hindi hindi na masaya pero dahil malaki sweldo or baka may binabayaran sila or uh, ano ba 'yon? May mga ganoon tayong may mga needs tayo na issue. non-negotiable. Correct. Uh-huh. Then you have to answer the question, why? Yeah. What, what's more important? I think you have to weigh. You have to to balance. Ano ba ang mas importante? Yung, yung money na natatanggap. I'm willing to lose this one over yung emotional na masaya ako. Ganyan? Or, or maybe you can work things out. Diba malaki sweldo mo? So maybe you can save up for the time na maghahanap ka ng job. Be smart. Yeah. Diba? Totoo. Like what you did, Miko. And diba? Yeah, okay. Kailangan talaga meron ka emergency fund. Kasi yeah. mm-hmm. ever man na talagang pumutok ka na, na ayaw mo na. Yeah. Uh-huh. Siyempre, minsan kapag ayaw mo sa trabaho, it's either may magagawa ka doon na it's either bigla ka nalang impulsive na magre-resign or it's either ito terminate ka dahil yeah. uh, okay marami ka na ginawa. <laughs> so, uh-huh. <laughs> sa akin dati, sa, sa previous company ko, it took me a year and six months to finally say, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Mm-hmm. How about you, Aubrey? Yung ba- ba- bago ka nag-move dito sa new job mo na to, uh, syempre, tatagal mo sa company na yun, 8 years plus? or uh, 12. 12 years? 12 years. Ba? And then I transferred to... Hindi ko ma-imagine yung sarili ko na parang ano na yun, parang relationship mo na siya, di ba? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that time, um, I think, uh, well, I'm fortunate that I felt that I was already ready to 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 move mm-hmm. because of the diff, you know the changes in my career parang wait kaya ko pala parang kahit na magiba-iba siya parang okay naman so you know, so with the yung question sila a while ago i can you know definitely relate to that uh, sometimes when you're faced with an option uh, um will you stay because of the money pero 
kung alis ka naman um, may opportunity ba and minsan wala talaga yeah. so ako what I normally tell my agents back then is that yun nga you have to be smart so maybe you don't like your job right now but mm-hmm. this is you know this is what feeds your family so just be smart uh, learn whatever you know whatever you can learn and then save and then you can use that in the future and then yun nga when you're faced with a situation like that you only have two choices it's either you change your internal um, disposition mm-hmm. or the external situation yun lang naman yun eh so mm-hmm. you have to just choose malaki kita niya no so why not use that uh, income that big income to fund something that you love to do passion yeah. Yeah. Malay mo gusto niyang maging uh, uh, photographer di mo mabilis siyang gab uh-huh. mm-hmm. correct, correct. gusto niyang magnegosyo di para siyang pangpuhunan at kung nag-uuma pa talaga invest on passive income yes. yeah. diba if, if there's a will there's a way Uh-oh. kasi minsan naman uh, may mga anxiety sa sa job kasi nga dahil hindi natin napupursu kung ano talaga yung passion natin mm-hmm. why not try na pagsabayan mo yes diba? mm-hmm. why not kasi with uh, the diba, by the virtue of magical technology mm-hmm. and hindi ka naman 24 hours sa uh, office meron ka namang off na dalawang araw like what we're doing right now we have like a radio show we have hosting gigs we have motivational talks I'm a YouTuber so diba um, maraming option work. yeah marami, kasi kung minsan iniisip mo na nandun ka sa work na yun na parang it's draining the life or parang feeling mo uh, hindi talaga yun yung gusto mo pero that feeds your family that finances your mga responsibilities yung mga bills mo hindi biro yun bigla mo siyang i-give up right. kasi di ba mas lalo kang magkakaroon ng anxiety yes. pag wala ka na pumap- wala na pumapasok sa bank account mo Correct. and nagkakaroon ka na ng mga utang mga mga debts exactly. yes. mas just to tell you honestly my weekday na job I wake up early in the morning hindi ako morning person pero etong Sunday I wake up even more early than the weekday kasi the will for me to come here kasi mas gusto ko siya than anything else na eto mag- mag-host to-, to talk about people mas strong kasi siya eh. If there's a will, there is a mm-hmm. way. So make it work if gusto mo talagang something else yung person. Correct. Oh, may, may question dito <laughs> sa ating live session si mm-hmm. Tina Rosales. Sabi niya, good morning. I have been working from a reputable company in Makati for almost 13 years. I decided to leave due to the worsening uh, traffic yes. and decided to look for employment near where I live. Uh, so I can look for after my mother. Sabi niya, however, the pay is too small. I feel I am so lost right now. I'm currently in a BPO near our place, but the pay is not even half of what my skill set should be getting. Please help. Ang issue niya naman dito, although nandun na nga yung comfort na malapit na lang sa bahay niya, naka, naalagaan niya yung mother niya, kasi aminin naman natin yung traffic, it's an unpaid, yung commuting, it's, it's an yes. unpaid work. Diba? Mm-hmm. Akin, mas okay na na hindi ganun kalakay yun as well basta malapit lang sa bahay oh, again it really depends eh kung anong mas importante sa eh yeah, you have to mas, select kasi yeah. you'll never you'll never get it all correct you won't have you everything you are so blessed if you get it all diba? yes pero matter of fact sometimes you really don't get everything yeah. na as you as you planned it to be siguro ano kasi you got it na malapit ka na sa bahay nyo diba why not try doing something else yes diba? oh, if you oh. like baking why don't you try and bake and sell it out kung pwede dun sa company you and then you'll earn extra income up right. on it mm-hmm. or if you want to link the ba mm-hmm. or since medyo wala naman na yung issue dito na ano ba yung yung long commute kasi yes. yung pinaka ano diba at least mas marami na yung oh, energy yes. mo ngayon na mag- matulog no ganun <laughs> para mas okay na yon try mo na magpa-promote diba mag ano ka since move bago up. ka pa lang sa hapon nito move up right. mag take ka ng mga responsibilities right. o kaya naman look for better opportunities within the company or kung kung feeling mo talaga yung company na yon hindi ka na mag-grow or uh, try for ano, another company the good thing about BPO kasi ngayon sa mga provinces ang dami na niya mm-hmm. hindi yes. lang sa Metro Manila na siya like we have in Cebu Ilo- Ilocos we have in Davao so even in Laguna they're, they're building a BPO ano na doon area yeah diba so <coughs> try mo lang uh, and if this happened recently lang yung pag, pag shift mo from um, working sa Makati papunta doon sa malapit sa inyo siguro it will take them pinapahinog lang you will still use that experience sa bago mong company Mm-hmm. Right. Minsan tiis-tiis lang yung, yung nag-start ako As in ngayon parang sabi ko Paano ako nakasurvive sa ganong sweldo diba? mm-hmm. Pero ngayon may, may imagine mo kasi na parang Kung hindi mo naranasan yung mga ganong struggles It won't make you strong yes. right. Tapos yes. hindi ka dun ma diba, na may, na, 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 Marunong ka na mag-save Marunong ka na mag-tipid na hindi ka, alam mo yun, May mga matututunan ka kasi dito Especially kung yun nga Medyo paycheck to paycheck ka ngayon So ang gawin mo na lang Try mo munang mag-stay one year Let's give it a chance Six Kasi para one year. Yes. Diba, ma- ay, mag- Ganda yung man sa resume mo, hindi ka naman nag-hop. 
Totoo. <laughs> Unless you can justify bakit ka nag-hop, diba? If it's it's really non-negotiable like a health problem yeah. or Oo, something health... else. You know. Correct, correct. Tapos marami siyang na-free up na time, diba? Mm-hmm. So instead of using that time for the commute and traffic, <laughs> he, she, she, or he or she can use that to spend more time at her job, magpakabayani siya. Mm-hmm. And I could... Mo-ote ka. Oo. Mm-hmm. Or learn something new. Grab a different role, additional okay. role. Yeah. Take advantage Tata of yung siya. training. So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hindi niyang makuha yung position na hindi niya makukuha kung mahaba yung oras niya. Totoo. And I could imagine how healthy her emotions is right now. Yeah. Kasi naalagaan niya yung nanay niya. Yes, yes. that's important. Diba? That's very important. That's Kasi fulfilling. you'll okay. never um, uh, bring back the time na nandyan yung nanay mo. Yeah, oh my god. Correct. That makes me feel, I wanna go home. Yeah. <laughs> Parang Mother's Day special marami na ito ulit. Marami na ako. Marami na ako. Marami na ako. Lalo na yung mga OFWs abroad. May nag-question niya. So may nag- mag-message nga sa akin dati 300,000 ang salary niya a month kasi nasa barko siya mm-hmm. pero parang he's not really happy as in, parang sabi niya parang every time umiiyak siya kasi nandun yung homesick tapos siyempre may mga racism issues mga ganun ganon mm-hmm. yun yung na-experience na daw every single day pero every month naman na dumarating yung sweldo niya parang Sin. fiesta Sin. naman na- <laughs> nakakapagpadala siya uh-huh. na pero yun nga it's love kasi that's the good thing about yung Filipino trait natin di ba mm-hmm. um, emotions yung sacrifice natin for our family and you know love entails sacrifice so pag mga ganun try mo muna mag-save okay mag open ka ng business uh, mm-hmm. magpunder kayo ng mga uh, dito na properties or whatever para dumating yung time let's say mag Ayaw sacrifice mo muna ng mga 5 years doon o mga ganyan may ikli lang yun pagbalik mo dito pwede ka para meron ka ng backup plan yes. uh, meron kang ano parang fallback Diba? So, napaka-exciting ng mga ano. Marami, marami nagtatanong sa atin. Tsaka yung mga kakagising pa lang po, Good kami morning. po ay napapahinga na ngayon simula sa isang ng alas 8 ng umaga. Medyo hindi ako sanay kasi yun yung parang pa-7 pa lang. Kasi mula pa dapat tayo eh. This is season 1. At medyo heavy yung discussion, ano? Uh, marami Actually, kasi, it's good that ano, a, lot, a lot of people are asking. Kasi mas mas ano mas relatable na yung topics natin. I mean, we can we can actually reach them first-hand na advice from, from those who experience it at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, may nagtatanong dito si J.R. Santos Sabi niya, question po Did you ever feel stagnant in your current or past jobs? <laughs> yung feeling na You are ready for a promotion But politics got its way to hinder the promotion Is it enough reason for us to feel career anxiety? It is yes. Okay A- ako, ako, based on my experience yeah. talaga, yung parang 3 years na, hindi pa rin ako napopromote, tapos every time na gumilipat ako, nandun ka na sa pipeline na dapat mm-hmm. napopromote ka na, nagsasunset yung account, parang reset na naman ako so parang I gave myself, sabi ko, ng deadline end of year, kukunin ko lang yung 13 month pay, aalis na ako but the good thing, uh-huh. every time na mag-January na birthday ko, birth month ko yung January na sabi ko, ito na yun, nakaready na yung resume ko, okay na lahat pati yung mga parang naka, naka-ready na nag, syempre nagbabrowse ka na online sa Facebook ng mga applyan mo meron at merong dumarating na, na something na nagpapastay sa akin na parang nag-open na door for some reason na parang gano'n na parang siguro kung umalis ako dito hindi ko siya nakuha or hindi ko siya, hindi ko siya na-experience so pero kung nakukuha siya ng anxiety it is kasi yung job security mo and then yung feeling mo stagnant ka na did you ever feel that Miko na parang hindi ako na, mag-grow dito sa Nung, sub, nung subcontractor ako. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. uh, long, almost two years yun eh. Yeah. So, uh, two years ka na parang contract uh, one. Mahirap, mahirap siya. Kasi mas mabigat yung trabaho niya. Sa iyo lahat eh. You're a one-man team. Mm-hmm. So, andun yung pressure na mag, uh, matuto ka. Matuto ka, yes, gagaling ka, but what's next for me? Mm-hmm. Subcon ka pa rin eh. Yeah. You're not yeah. going to be a team lead siguro or supervisor or manager. Kasi you're, you're a field man na subcon. Pero walang walang opportunity doon para ma-absorb ka into uh, uh, regular wala, employee. Kasi yung mga higher level doon, yun yung mga direct hire nung sinserve namin company. I see. That's so, the ano na mm, parang yung autonomy talaga yes. doon. How about you, Aubrey? Did you ever feel politics na hindi ka napopromote? Pero in your case, <laughs> swerte kasi, <laughs> ang bilis na. Ang bilis, ang bilis, ang bilis four months. <laughs> yung kanya. Iba yung anxiety. Yung kanya overwhelmed. Uh, ano, yung different rules. Uh, pero, yung mga agents ko, I think, Uh, if yeah. you know yung parang lack of opportunity for growth that's one of the main reasons, reasons for anxiety if not the you know the top reason mm-hmm. kasi even pag sa recruitment when I interview the number one reason nila for leaving the company is because there's no opportunity for growth mm-hmm. saka sa so parang ang tagal-tagal nila doon ganyan ganyan so I would ask them so uh, so what did you do but be you know uh, for you to be promoted or something so did you 
uh, take on um, from did you volunteer for any you know uh, team lead uh, job or task or QA and then and then yung mga agents ko din so some of them parang they feel stagnant na na parang two years na ako boss parang agent pa din ako tas parang hindi na napo promote what what I advise them uh, which is uh, which I also got from you know attending the thesis that you just keep on preparing talaga you just keep on learning sometimes nga even if you don't get promoted but when you feel like you're learning uh, so many skills uh-huh. you feel like parang anytime if the opportunity comes you're ready you're ready, get it, you're ready. Yeah. kasi diba parang success is really 90% preparation and 10% opportunity mm-hmm. and luck is when they when they meet yeah yes. when they meet together so you just keep on preparing parang feeling mo parang walang growth but no if you keep on um, increasing your skills darating at darating tayo nandiyan na and then you're ready na yes mm, yes that's na, correct na-feel ka ba nung ganun pra? na stagnant na yeah uh-huh. that's why I had to move from, from from my previous company to another kasi there's no sense of me staying di naman ako napopromote and politics wise yeah. there was really politics so I had mm. to to venture on another um uh Embark on another journey na feeling ko magsasaksid ako that's why I tried hosting yeah. um, uh, on the side ng, 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 ng pag-BBPO pero balikan ko lang yung uh, yung sabi niya dito no, na Is it enough um, reason? Yep, is it enough reason? Again, I always bank on my emotional health eh mm-hmm. kasi kapag hindi ka maayos emotionally yeah. then that will iba yun eh it, mm-hmm. it, it will it, consume it, you it, yeah, uh, physically, mentally Kakasakit ganyan oo oh, oh. magal in the long term oo, oh, tsaka yung maapektuhan yung performance mo performance yes. and again yung yung performance mo it will never be attributed to your bad experience or bad boss or bad company your reputation will be still on you di ba? Mm, di mo yep. pwedeng di pwedeng sabihin nila na ah, bagsak na lahat ng metrics niya kasi siguro yung boss niya hindi niya gusto uh-huh. or siguro dahil yung company hindi kasi siya binibigyan ng opportunities yeah. it will still be on your parang credentials na ang dami mong abs ang dami mong late mm-hmm. ouch <laughs> oh my god oh <laughs> ma feeling ko nalulost ako sa sarili kong show minsan feeling, pag pinapanood ko to after ng episode sabi ko ano ba yung mga pinagsasabi ko doon ako yon. anyway going back so ayun nga diba kung, kung hindi ka na masaya sa ginagawa mo syempre maapekto na yung performance uh-huh. parang you just take everything for granted na ano pa yung mga opportunities na minibigay sa'yo ng company or yung mga kinocoach ka ng team lead mo or ng manager mo parang mm-hmm. you just don't listen kasi mm-hmm. nga meron ka nang nararamdaman inside na parang hindi mo naman masabi I always remember that you are only as good as your last performance yep. yeah hindi oh. mo pwedeng sabihin na nag-start ako oh, dito galing ko kaya dati yeah. uh, three years ago ganito yung mga na, 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 nakamit Achieve ko or something oh. pero that was three years ago so remember even if hindi ka na pa-promote right now uh, try to make the best out of everything pa din tsaka um, siguro ano if if yung sabi mo is it reason enough to feel career anxiety don't make it a reason enough parang before it even go there try to avoid it na or make something about it na tsaka if you're feeling doubtful about yourself dahil nga stagnant ka na then maybe it's about time for you to to search for another company mm-hmm. yep ganun. And uh, by just uh, telling us na uh, feel mo stagnant na yung job mo, mm-hmm. meaning to say, you think na there's something more that you can do. Yes. Why yeah. not give yourself the chance to do that? Kasi sabi nga nila eh, um, pagsisisihan mo yung mga bagay na hindi mo naman ginawa, no, 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 no. na parang uh, inisip mo lang, parang well, what's outside that box? What ifs? Yeah, what, yeah, what ifs? Yun, Pero yun, feeling, ko kasi, eh. oh, feeling ko depende siya sa personality. Like, mm-hmm. Sa personality kasi ni Frank, very ganun nga siya na parang mm-hmm. if I don't see any thing na future dito sa account to lilipat ako parang may mga tao kasi na gano'n na parang sinusuppress nila yung feelings nila or hindi nila kayang i-voice out mm-hmm. or tinitiis na lang nila kasi marami silang factors na consider especially yung mga uh, ano naman yung mga introverts in the industry yes. o kaya naman yung mga tao talaga na parang um hindi sila gano'n ka-expressive sa nararamdaman nila so so I, I suggest ano yung mga ma- I suggest ano mga suggest <laughs> <laughs> kasi no kapag ganyan stagnant career track uh Malaking role yung uh, pinoportray ng leadership. Your immediate supervisor or manager. You have to talk to them if you think you're not delivering enough according to your capacity and potential. May, maybe there's an opportunity inside your company that yeah. you can shift. Uh-huh. Kasi pwede naman mag-usap yung mga boss. Mm-hmm. Ay, meron akong tao magaling sa ganito. Di ba kailangan mo na ganito? Mer- internal referral yun. Those are opportunities that are not advertised in Job Street or other uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. media or avenue. But they are available within the company mm-hmm. only if you talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sinabi reach, out. Na yun na, ano, reach out. Reach out. Kasi yeah. yung iba nga, yung mga boss mo, nagmamanage siya ng ilang tao. So, mm-hmm. hindi naman kayo lahat ng kilala uh, na 
oh interested ka pala sa ganitong role or willing ka pala na mag overtime or mag take ng ganitong training mm. willing ka pala na mag ganito diba Works normally out, yes. oh, be proactive diba you, you guard your dream diba? yeah you help them help you make yourself visible parang diba nga sabi natin in the previous um episodes natin na if you can make yourself visible two, two levels two up, levels up mm-hmm. not two levels down because they will not help you as much as yung mga managerial levels mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep lagi mo itatanungin may plano pa ba kayo sa akin <laughs> diba? is there something more that you can offer actually um, th- there's somebody who uh, commented here sabi niya <laughs> from an employer standpoint it is frustrating to see people with a skill set and talent unable to utilize it and grow because the company has no opportunities open yet. Sayang yung capabilities nila eh. What we do instead is open some employee engagement program and development program to continue honing these people. We also put them on OJT status so they'd feel that we are grooming them for something big if there's finally opportunities for them. A good company kasi knows how to be sensitive to what their employees feel. That Totoo. Yeah. Nangyayari yeah, talaga yan. Sa, sa, sa leader kasi especially yung, like si Aubrey, di ba? Very mm-hmm. ano nga siya. Uh, feeling ko are you an emotional leader or do you have like personal connections with your employees personal, kasi, very personal kasi kung, kung technical yung TL mo or yung manager mo you you won't get that the type of coaching na gusto mo <laughs> di ba yeah. how do you normally talk to your your employees regarding their performance or their career path ako talaga when we do pep sessions um, kasi in nga um, in our company mm-hmm. in my current company uh, we they asked us to take this survey the Gallup strengths mm-hmm. uh, so you know it, it allowed the team leads and the agents themselves um, understand their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. So from there, so we're able to guide them kung anong career path ba yung bagay sa kanila or if there's no available um, position yet, ano yung mga uh, parang tasks or extra tasks that you can ask them to do na align dun sa strengths niya nila. Mm-hmm. And then yun nga, um, e- even in one of our leadership um, trainings or seminars, I really, I shared with my co-team leads na it's really important for you to understand the different personality types kasi even if, you know, you're handling um, parang multiple agents pero it really matters if you know them a little uh, personal, personal para mas yeah. customized yung ano mo yung pag-guide mo sa kanila yung coaching style yeah. kasi minsan like you know I have agents that are extroverted I also have agents that are introverted iba talaga yung approach sa kanila and sometimes mm-hmm. when you have parang a blanket approach kasi that's also one of the reasons for anxiety kasi parang you know like for example my introverted agents parang they would feel na parang naku hindi ako in parang hindi na nakikita yung I mean diba parang it's hard for introverted people to really uh, market themselves yes. so yeah. you as a team need you're the one help. who need to reach out talaga yeah. help them help them diba by the way thank you don't kay don dyan na like, nagtanong nun we also have Uh, Antonio May pa na nakatutok sa atin yan. So again, kung, kung kakatune inyo pa lang po sa call center radio, please participate mm-hmm. sa ating umaatikabo at mainit na discussion. <laughs> kasi it's a live session or kahit pa dun sa recorded session na lang. It's our community kasi, di ba? Mm-hmm. Or pwede nyo rin panoorin yung ating mga previous episodes. So, good thing na meron na isang radio show na nagtatakan ng mga ganitong issues sa sa call center. Let, let's go back to our topic kanina. Ng, Ay, um, ayun, more seriously, di ba? Yeah, sure. Yung ano, depression. Na-share ko kanina nga, um, kasi ito, what we're talking about is anxiety that um, kaya natin siyang i-overcome on our on our own. Pero there are, you should acknowledge that there are also depression and anxiety problems na kailangan na din ng professional help. Yeah, clinical. Kasi, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I shared kanina na parang I, we, I watch Suits, if you if you happen to watch it, uh, let me know. Uh, hindi ko alam kung anong episode na siya kasi <laughs> pinlay ko lang siya. But there was a time na yung lead, uh, lead, lead role doon si um, Spectre is actually ano undergoing yung depression kasi yung very close person niya which is secretary niya uh, left him so parang yung feeling na nawala lahat ng comfort zone niya kasi kaakibat niya na yun for how many years eh tas nawala there was a time na na-feel niya na wala na siyang makita na pumunta siya sa CR and nag-vomit siya and nung time na na-realize niya this is not okay anymore nag-consider siya ng professional help which is yung psychologist niya doon na yung binigyan siya ng gamot and all yeah. so parang it's 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 okay siguro na dapat you calibrate yourself na kaya ko pa ba to? And right. if hindi mo na kaya, try to acknowledge, acknowledge it. Tell it to other people. And then if hindi na talaga super kaya, go for professional help. Totoo. Yeah. Calibration uh, also um, uh, 
requires uh, spiritual cleansing. Yes. So you also consult the book of life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tama tayo mga ways kung paano makakapag-cope doon sa mga nararanasan mm-hmm. nating personal issues, 'di ba? Yung mga personal struggles, it starts with embracing the the fact that something is wrong. Mm-hmm. Something is not normal. Kung may na-experience kayo, like hindi ko nakakatulog every night like for two weeks na already. Baka hindi na or, insomnia. Or nagbe-binge. Al- alam mo yung mga ganun. Kaya ngayon sabi nila na depression is not a joke. It's not na parang gawa-gawa lang. Kasi iba naman kasi yung loneliness or just mm-hmm. sadness or you just you feel kasi sa atin, di ba, parang nag-resign lang yung close friend natin sa floor or yung boss natin bigla lang nag-leave or whatever. Parang feeling natin depressed na tayo. Pero mm-hmm. meron kasing deeper version mm-hmm. ng depression na parang it yung parang mas serious siya na kailangan niya ng professional help, kailangan niya ng um, medication yes. na, or therapy, I suggest you consult a uh, therapist or psychologist. Pero kasi dito kasi sa Philippines, alam naman natin na ang Very question agad... Very resilient kasi yung mga tao. Oo. Oh, oh, at saka iniisip natin, ay, nakakost yan. Mm-hmm. Mahal. Oo. Oh, oh. O, oh, diba? Meron pa negative yung ano, uh, yung tingin. Yes. Ay, baliw yan. Oo. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Correct, correct. Hindi <laughs> yun yung stigma ng tao yes. na parang papansin lang yan. Mga ganun, may mga suicidal thoughts, yung mga ano, attention seeker lang yan. Pero most people kasi na suffer from depression, they just keep it inside. They just suffer alone. Okay? They are silent sufferers. Mm-hmm. So, don't, ano, huwag nyo siyang sarilihin. Okay? As much as possible, talk to your mentors. Yes. Get a friend. O kaya naman, your your family, support mm-hmm. system mo sila. Sila yung lagi mong kasama. I appreciate yung campaign right now uh, about about uh, depression nga. Yung, um, I actually posted it sa while ko. Na if, you re- if you really need someone to talk to, uh, reach out ka lang. Mm-hmm. I, I may not be available all the time, pero, Malay natin, um, <coughs> magkaroon ako ng super duper mahabang time. We can always talk. Mm, diba? Sige tayo niya. Yeah. Usap tayo mamaya. Usap tayo mamaya. Sabi ko ka life coach <laughs> lately, di ba? Yeah. Sabi, sabi ko nga parang, I wish, di ba, para akong therapist. Kasi whenever my followers, I'm getting like, siguro close to 100 messages every mm-hmm. single day. Mm-hmm. On my social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, on IG. And then, the sad part is, I don't have like uh, a moderator, time, yeah. I don't have an admin na para mag-check nun. And then, some of them are spam, some of them are mga business proposals, some of them are mga kung ano na mga ano. Ang hirap i-filter kung ano ba talaga yung legit. And then, lately lang na-catfish pa ako. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. Pero, alam mo, marami kasing, the, the thing with internet, minsan, the more you stay on the internet, the more you get depressed. Yes. Kasi the more you get to compare your life dun sa people na nagpo-portray na parang as if perfect yung career nila, perfect yung love life nila. So, sabi nga nila, ba diba sabi ni Nisian Gaza who was here a few weeks back, sabi niya, you follow those uh, pages na feeling mo na makakapag-uplift sa iyo. Positive. Positive, yung mga good vibes. Kasi kapag masyado ka nag-dwell dun sa mga uh, more on politics, more on mga controversial topics, more on issues na parang lalo ka lang dinidrain, lalo ka nagagalit, diba? Okay. It will not really help you. Especially weekends, i-spend mo lang siya on online tapos ganun yung mga may kita mo, diba? How will you start your week right? Yeah, we have too many negative stuff na all around us. So, yeah. try to look at it from a more positive side. And the way you mentioned the fees that it really helped me a lot during the time na um sobrang lost ako na parang I doubted myself. Kaya ko pa ba to? or is it really for me? Tapos I realized na yeah, I think I need to refuel my spirituality. Kailangan ko nang mag-submit na parang let go and let God. Kasi if you keep on worrying, it won't help you actually. Yung analysis paralysis, yes, it will make things worse. Mm-hmm. And I guess MA already experienced that lately, right? You've you've been at- attending uh, <laughs> ano? Ay, nako. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> 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 it will make you feel lighter. Kasi yeah, I mean, if, if hindi ka spiritual, um, okay lang. Find another stuff yeah. na positive. Join clubs, join, uh, reconnect with your friends. Sabi ko nga, whenever may mga taong super depressed na parang di nila na-appreciate or parang they feel na they're alone. Mm-mm. Okay, you're only alone if you can take care of yourself. Okay, I mean, I, I suggest ako dati nun, alala ko yung nakaranas ako ng super career anxiety na parang ano nangyayari, parang hindi ko na, ayoko mag-resign, mm-hmm. ayoko rin. Most millennials kasi ngayon, they have a lot of demands, they have a lot of issues, but they don't know what they really want to do in life. Mm-hmm. They just, that's very they're just difficult. lost. Okay, they, they, they just don't know ano yung gusto pa nilang ipul. So that's why I discovered becoming a YouTuber, mm-hmm. becoming uh, vl- vlogging, ganun. So parang two years ago, 2015, parang I booked a flight to Malaysia and Singapore. That was my first ever na nagta-travel ako alone na abroad, mm-hmm. 'di ba? So trinay ko siya and then parang I discovered a lot of things. So 
try to do it kahit hindi abroad diba kahit mm-hmm. within the Philippines mm-hmm. lang or try to reconnect with your your friends mga college friends mo or wa- wag kayong mag-compare ng sarili ninyo sa iba kasi minsan mm-hmm. nandun yung anxiety natin na parang you're an agent for 10 years already your your classmate is already a manager is already oh. abroad yeah. o kaya naman siya may coach na yung company may binigyan ng coach yung company niya sa kanya or my cellphone ng pinuruvide ano mo yun we, we keep on uh, Compare, we dwell yes. on those things na wala tayo we dwell on what's missing we dwell on things na feeling natin na, na hindi natin na-appreciate yung self-worth natin mm-hmm. so I, I suggest you reflect on those things na you have okay yeah. learn the process yung dada Yes, at first you'll be in denial, tapos you'll be angry about it, you'll bargain, and then you get depressed. But afterwards, if you acknowledge na ito talaga yung nafe-feel mo, then you'll accept it, and then you can move forward. Mm-hmm. Yun naman. Pero I, I read kanina, no? you like to meditate, to reflect, and relax. Yeah, people, let's right? talk about meditation. How, how does it help you? It helps you filter things that, or thoughts that come into your mind. Mm-hmm. Kasi, Katulad nga sabi niyo, di ba, napakaraming negative uh, mm-hmm. information, news, events uh, yeah. sa mundo. So, it's up to you. It's your choice. Which of those information or thoughts enter your mind and influence it? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you let negative influence mm-hmm. enter your mind, negative yung magiging dulot sa'yo. Um, at kung nangyayari yun, meditation helps because it, mm-hmm. it, it lets you become aware of the situation. It lets you relax. It lets you, it lets you clear your mind. So, kung pakiramdam nyo, napakaraming, ano, uh, tigil mo na. Stop. You pause. No? Pause for a moment quit. of silence. Um, kahit pa paano gagaan yung pakiramdam mo. Uh, you'll regain a bit of focus. Uh, and then, you'll probably probably realize what is my direction. Where should I go? Where should I focus? Uh, what should I do? How often do you do this? Uh, every day, every day. Uh, kasi, pag pagod ka sa trabaho, hindi naman pwedeng tulog ka lang agad, no? Kasi may isip mo lagi problema, eh. So, you have to clear your thoughts para pag natulog ka, masarap tulog. Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's Obre, may mga hobbies siya ngayon na, ano, di ba, what do you normally do after work? Well, after, I also do meditation, actually. Uh-huh. And then, um, it's a guided meditation, so I just listen mm-hmm. to YouTube. Mm-hmm. And then they, you know, say something na... But, uh, I th- one of the things I learned about meditation is that it helps you re- rewire your brain. Kasi, mm-hmm. most of the things talaga, yung mga issues, anxieties natin, are in our subconscious mind eh. mm-hmm. and that's something yeah. that we cannot really you know control para yes. ano gagawin mo to oh, control mm-hmm. your subconscious mind but it's really meditation that will help you do that mindfulness uh, it yeah. Yeah, mindfulness how, how do they do it on, on YouTube you, sa, you, you said diba parang search mo lang meditate yeah guided meditation siya. guided meditation so parang how long does it take ba parang? well the video uh, takes about an hour but it really depends kung gusto mo 30 minutes lang basta Every day, at least gawin mo siya. Parang, para siyang detox. Mm-hmm. Mind okay. detox. Mind so, detox. So, kailangan so, quiet. Ito yung mga nakapikit-pikit na level. Yeah, kaya medyo nakapikit and then naka, you know, seated position and all that. Mm-hmm. Pero siyempre kailangan nasa safe place. <laughs> Pero di ba kailangan most of it silent dapat? Meron din namang... Music. Pero may... ako kasi app-based yung gamit ko sa Android. Mm-hmm. Uh, meron siyang mga... Ang tawag ng ambience. Mm-mm. So, alam ba, yeah, river man. or waterfall, ulan. Ay, Kasi water. kung distracting yung, ano, yung yeah. paligid, hindi siya silent. Mag-headphones ka. Okay. Uh, Tapos yun yung mar- marinig mo. Yeah. Masarap sa pagandong. Gagat yung waves. Uh, yeah. Waves. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Actually, there was a time Kanyari na super nasara. depressed <laughs> na yata. Ay, hindi naman depressed. Super sad lang. Kasi there's, uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to remind everyone to don't lose, uh, don't, uh, use the word so loosely. Yung mga depressed ako, stressed ako. Because there are ma- uh, medyo lighter words na medyo lighter ang meaning. Yun na muna yung gamitin natin if that's exactly what we feel. Kasi mm-hmm. when we say depressed, baka mamaya naman. Um, kaya naiisip ng mga tao na ay hindi yan depressed. Ano yan? Drama lang yan. Because that's not exactly what you feel. Kaya yung mga tuloy na nakakaramdam talaga ng depression, nasa-judge sila. Pero anyway, going back to what I want to share, um, there was a time na super sad kami. kami kasi mag-friends. Tapos, we just decided na, okay, why don't we we take a uh, out-of-town trip dun sa uh, mm. Puerto Galera yata. It really helped na marinig mo ulit yung nature. Yes. I mean, yes, you can hear it sa, sa phone and all, but if you have time, yeah. go go out. Kasi Correct. sobrang, da, ano lang siya, overnight lang naman siya kasi, syempre, um, pla, hindi siya pinlano eh. Agad-agad lang na, oh, sige, tara, punta tayo. Tapos, yung yung re, um, reconnection with nature iba talaga yung nagagawa niya 
kaya nga whenever I invite guests, mm-hmm. di ba, we would normally ask them, uh, what are your other activities or hobbies mm-hmm. outside of work? Because we want to get to know them beyond yung kung ano lang yung office na jobs nila, di ba? Mm-hmm. Like yung kay Aubrey interior designing, Your designing, singing, wow. singing di ba? Parang yung may mga other passions ka para ano. Yeah, kasi, yeah, kasi what I have in mind yun nga kanina, we were talking about yung pagsasabihin mo yung current work at saka yung, yung what you're passionate about. It's it's actually possible. Kahit naman hindi full-time yun dun sa passion mo, pero at least bit by bit, mm-hmm. you're learning something na. And then by the time that you quit your job, marami ka nang alam at may fall experience. Back. Since may fallback ka na, di ba? Tapos passion mo pa. So, mm-hmm. you know, just have to have uh, uh, find time mm-hmm. to do what you're passionate about. So, ano yung sabi dun sa kanina isang comment? Yung meron silang engagement activities sa company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really very helpful. Mm-hmm. Kasi kung halimbawa, stressful yung trabaho. <laughs> yes. May <laughs> agad eh. Yeah. Kasi sa, like sa company namin, what, one of the uh, feature offers that it's really helpful for me is the communities of interest. Okay. Kasi kung stressful yung trabaho, you have a chance to pursue your passion. Like for me, photography. Mm-hmm. And then when you do something like a volunteering activity, oh. o kaya kumita ka sa labas, uh, kasi hilig mo yung ginagawa mo, it refuels you. Uh, kung na-drain up ka dun sa, sa trabaho mo, uh, na, na-burnout ka, you'll get recharged kapag nakagawa ka ng bagay na gusto mo talaga eh. It's mm-hmm. fulfilling. Yes. Masaya ka. Pagbalik mo sa trabaho, parang full charge ka na. Mas kaya mo nang mag-take ng stress. Mm-hmm. Oh, exactly. Ito That's ta. what we're doing, diba? Mm-hmm. Ah, guys, we're not paid to do this uh, call center radio. It's our passion na gusto namin talagang maka-inspire people. And thank you so much kay Sir Choi kasi he he was the way na um, reach out namin kayo. Totoo. Diba? Tsaka, ano tawag? Sipra? Tsaka, emotional. <laughs> Marami kasing emotional, lalo na ngayon na burn months na, na mm-hmm. patapos na naman yung iba nag-aantay na lang talaga ng bonus ng 13th month. Oo, oh, ang dami nakarelate sa sinabi mong yan eh, may kanina. Yung naghihintay na lang 13th month, yeah. tapos fly la luna. Ngayon, ngayon pa lang sa ano, kaya pansin mo by January niyan yung mga ads ng mga call center, mga billboards nila, nandyan na. Dadami Kasi, na alam mo yun, resignation season yun. Uh, yeah. Parang nandun na yung, uh, may, may tawag doon sa month na yun eh. Hindi siya ghost month, pero it's a, it's a month parang nandun na yung lalo na for example yung company ninyo magpapalit ng fiscal year or may mga bonus season sila di ba uh, uh, uh. nandun na yung parang naaligagan ang management na ito flight risk ba to uh, uh, flight ito? risk so ba, try nyo muna mag-isep na mm-hmm. no? wag muna magpadalos-dalos kasi if ever man na kapag resign ka na although pwede mo siyang ma-retract no yes. for example nag-file ka ng resignation like 30 days yung mag-render ka pwede mo siyang bawiin yes yes Okay. Pero ba- bakit mo siya babawi? Yun nga, diba? eh, diba? You have to stand your ground na pag gusto ko na mag-resign, this is it. Pride. Pride. Or yung pride na lang na parang, or yung iba sabi nga na may mga boomerang employees yes. na parang they left the company and then they go back. There, there's really nothing wrong with that. Yes, yes. Yung, yung kay Aubrey yung kanina sabi niya, 12 years Mm-mm. siya sa company bago niya nilet go. Uh, can you say na parang you've made the right decision? Yeah. So, sobra. <laughs> Kasi parang, actually the reason why I stayed there for 12 years Yes, yun nga, parang I was afraid of uh, starting, over. starting over yeah. again. Kasi nga, parang hindi ko alam kung if I would get the same position mm-hmm. or even same salary. Kasi nga, um, you cannot just let go of your job kasi nga may mga responsibilities ka. Uh, and then, yun nga, I decided to, sige, parang feeling ko naman I've gained enough experience and then I tried. Mm-hmm. So yun, parang I felt really uh, relieved. Mm-hmm. Parang ano siya, kumbaga... Uh, what's that term? Yung parang feeling ko na, na may, may freedom factor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> na parang feeling mo, you can, hindi naman sa parang you can leave anytime you want. Pero at least ngayon, you cannot takot to try different things. Kasi mm-hmm. yeah. na-try mo na parang, Correct. yun yung parang 12 years, 13 years. Uh, tapos biglang aalis ka para ka lang nakipag-break sa yeah. mga mm-hmm. mga. Yan yung mahirap sa, sa mga taong loyal eh, no? Mas oh. masakit, umalis. Oh. Pero all the people na ano, <laughs> yun nga na... <laughs> Oh, kasi pag mga hoppers, yung mga hoppers, parang wala nang emosyon yan eh. Parang six months na nabu- walang attachment, mm-hmm. di ba? Parang nabuisit ako sa boss ko, nabuisit ako sa katabi ko. Kaya, di ba may BO yung katabi ko sa floor, resign. Konting mga petty things lang, resign. Kasi alam mo na nga na parang meron at meron kasing kuha sa'yo. That's why some people, they just take their job for granted. Kasi they know na uh, call center companies or BPO companies are in dire need of applicants, agents especially. Pero kapag yung kasing masyado kang loyal dun sa company, mas mahirap mag-let go kasi feeling mo um, uh, marami ka nang na-invest dun. Tapos marami ka, may emotional attachment kasi yes, may mga napundar ka yeah. because of the the company, di ba? Kaya yung pag mag-de-decide na naaalis, 
uh, pag-isipan nyo na ang maigi. Hindi yung pwede mag-judjang ka agad dun sa... Kaya ngayon, di ba, si Shana, sino yung guest natin dito? Uh-huh. I think two weeks ago, meron siyang book na Is It Time to Pick Your Job? I'm currently reading it right now. Thank you, Miss Cha, for the copy. Uh, maganda siya. Kasi mm-hmm. nandun talaga yung parang may mga i-consider ka dun na may mga i-check ka dun. Tapos parang kita yung result, ready ka na ba or hindi pa. Yes. So I suggest you, ano, you, 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 you talk to your family muna. Marami kong i-consider like uh, how, how about you Miko nun? Yung, yung umalis ka na ano, can you say na parang you've made the right decision? Or meron ka na bang regret na parang sana pala nagstay ako ng kwarte? Regret siguro wala. Um, kasi I was firm uh, when I decided back then. Um, I was thankful that I pursued that decision because it let me pursue where I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. Technology nga. Uh, tapos, yun nga, um, yung learnings na nakuha ko naman dun sa company na yun, sa manufacturing, is also applicable and has been advantage for me uh, nung lumipat ako. So, no regrets. Uh, Siyempre, kapag binalikan mo kasi yung uh, past, tas inisip mo, what ifs? Mm-hmm. That's also a negative uh, thought. Better not yeah. do it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Kaya nga before siguro submitting, di ba? Dapat solid na yung decision mo. There's no turning back. But if you have to, syempre, um, if if it's necessary for you to go back, no problem about it. Nagkamali ka. Mm-hmm. 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 Totoo. As long as you leave gracefully, walang yes. issue naman. Yep, you, you, sa akin, my take is, you'll only know that you've made the right decision if that decision afterwards uh, will make you feel that you're empowered mm-hmm. and uh, there's self-redemption. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, kasi, <laughs> oh, kasi, <laughs> yeah, the redemption. Yep, na-feel ko talaga kasi yun nung nag-move ako. Uh-huh. Correct. At saka ang akin, para ma-realize ma- ma- mo kung talagang you've made the right decision, kung meron ka ng peace of mind. Diba? May mga tao kasi na stay ng stay, tapos sobrang Mm-mm. nag-struggle na pala deep inside. And then parang when they quit, na sobrang ang dami nilang what ifs, ang dami nilang mga issues na parang hindi nila, kasi may mga fear of the unknown, di ba? Fear of uncertainties. Tapos yung nakita nila na hindi naman pala ganun ka-worse ang mangyayaring effect. At saka, promise, ako, Believe in yourself, okay? Yung strength mo, na kaya-kaya mo. Filipinos are known to be resilient, na kahit... Ako kasi, the, the good thing about growing up, na hindi ka pinanganak ng ganong kayama, na hindi lahat binigay sa'yo, you, you, you can actually survive. Mm-hmm. Na kahit Mas siguro... Mas higher mag- percentage yung survival. Correct, correct. Kasi a- ako nung parang kahit mag-back to zero ako, of course, ayoko naman na mangyari yun. Pero <laughs> yung dumating man sa point na yun, parang you have nothing to lose. Yes. Okay? Kasi hindi ka naman na-spoiled. Hindi naman, hindi ka sanay na binibigay lang sa'yo yung opportunities or, you know, parang ako, I would rather struggle na masasabi ko na parang I've reached this because of uh, what I did not not because some other people uh, can tell me na parang oh na, if it wasn't for me you won't be there para mga ganong mm-hmm. issues may mga kanya-kanya tayo ako kasi ma-pride talaga ako parang kung ayaw nyo okay lang huwag nyo <laughs> tsaka yung ano diba sabi nila if, if you find another job ang um, uh-huh. feeling mo um, dapat mas better to ng dun sa dati mo uh-huh. pero if it comes to the point na hindi siya better ang lagi kong binabalikan dyan is yung sinabi ni Steve Jobs na the only way to do great work is to love what you do if you haven't found it yet, keep looking, don't settle. Huwag mo ma- masyadong isipin yung sinasabi ng iba na, ah, pag umalis ka dyan, baka isipin nila na mm-hmm. ano, uh, hindi ka dedicated to your work or something. Kasi in the long run, it will take its toll on you and the company. Yeah. Kasi hindi ka na magpa-perform eh. So if if it's necessary for you to find another job, then go find another yeah. job. If fulfill mo muna yung sarili mo dahil uh, the impact of that will be mas productive ka with the company if okay ka na. Tsaka marami akong kilala na wala silang kiber na sa title. Mm-hmm. Kasi when you mature, uh, masyado kong, di ba yung pag mga 20s ka palang, you keep on comparing yourself, mm-hmm. nandun yung pressure na parang kailangan whenever I move, kailangan susunod siya sa, sa yung sweldo ko, kailangan madudoble siya, triple yes. siya. Pero when you mature, mas ma-appreciate mo yung peace of mind, mm-hmm. yun yung tranquility. May mga kakilala ko ngayon na agent, uh, team lead sila dati sa ganitong company and then bumalik sila sa agent. Kaya naman, yeah. nabawasan yung sweldo nila but they are happier. Mm-hmm. Yes. But, that's something that money can't buy. Yes. Diba? Don't go ano for yung... the standards ng ano, society. Yes. Make your own standards. Si Miko, like, diba? Kung doon, ang dami niyang pinagdaan. Uh, na... <laughs> kasi, lalo na kapag shifter ka, you you already gained experience, no? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Pag nag-shift ka, back to zero, halimbawa, yung opportunity. Mm-hmm. Think about the long term. Yes. Um, your direction. Pag nag-stay ka dun sa current job mo, what will you, you be five years or three mm-hmm. years from now pero kung nag-sacrifice ka 
start to start, start from zero le. Mm-hmm. But you have a clear direction or progression, and you are more, you're going to um, take advantage of your potential more. Uh, doon ka na lang Mas kasi sa goals, yes, no? three years five years ten years you will surpass whatever you can achieve in, if you're going to stay in your current mm-hmm. track Correct. because it's more fit uh, in, with yourself yeah. yes. by your talents doon din sa yeah doon din sa experience ni Aubrey na nilagay siya doon sa mga positions na ayaw niya <laughs> I'm sure di ba may mga natutunan ka rin doon yes, yes. di ba may, may mga issues ba doon na parang <laughs> Okay lang na may syempre nandoon yung yung work ethics kasi na, na, nadala mo pa rin siya pero ano yung experience doon na parang made you stronger na parang kung di mo siguro na experience yon kung di ako dinala sa position mo parang siguro mas nahirapan ako ngayon yun talaga yung handling um agents <laughs> oh kasi parang yung team lead, team lead yeah. just like what you said a while ago may mga colleagues tayo na team lead before and then mm-hmm. ngayon agent na sila and they're happy with it kasi nga iba rin talaga yung stress being a team lead kasi parang uh, you're not just uh, parang worried about your own performance yeah. but the performance of the whole team mm-hmm. tapos syempre hindi naman lahat yan susunod sa'yo so ayun that's one of the biggest stress pero just to add to what you said a while ago na parang minsan as you mature Um, you would really realize kung ano yung mas importante. And mm-hmm. most of the time, you realize na it's not really all about money. Yeah. 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 Yes. Parang, parang it's really, uh, parang work-life balance din. Mm-hmm. Parang, yeah, it's important that you have money so that you can feed your family and all that. But, yun nga, um, isa mas importante yung uh, emotional welfare mo din eh. Yes. Yun. Parang mas lasting. I agree. Hindi <laughs> 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 Siguro, ano, siguro mga five years ago, hindi ko nasabihin yan. So, like yung mga nanonood sa atin na parang no that's BS yung mga ganyan mga hindi importante yung money syempre may mga different uh, priorities ka diba as you grow old siguro yun noon ang gusto mo makabili lang ng iPhone or uh, makatira lang sa ganitong maganda bahay or makabili ng car kaya masyado kang ang motivation mo nun very in, uh, extrinsic yes, yes. pero ngayon ka as you mature diba mas, mas gusto mo yung na-appreciate ka mas gusto mo yung na nag-grow ka you'll personally you'll go more on relationship ako tsaka yung mga tao ngayon mas gusto nila yung ano, more time na mag more time with family. Mm-hmm. Wala silang pakialam na overtime, da, kami nun natin, kami mga single, <laughs> kami yung kumukuha ng mga overtime, RDOT, pero yung mga mothers na yung mga parents, yung mga, ano, na, mga mature na, mm-hmm. kahit pa sabihin na 1,000 GC, mag-overtime ka lang, dead ma sila. Kasi sabi ko, bakit hindi, hindi ko mag Sabi ko, Pasko, ayaw yung pumasok. Yung mga ganun. <laughs> <laughs> pero yung ngayon, na-realize ko na parang, oo nga, no, yung mga times na wala ka sa office yun yung mga times talaga na mas sinitreasure mo Mm-mm. kasi money is important but it's not everything diba? ang tara ay kasi it is important eh, na si Seti siya pero hindi siya everything kasi you, you can have all the money you want but if you don't have time to spend it para saan siya uh-huh. diba pag, pag binaon mo ba yan dun sa casket mo um, mag-grow pa ba siya <laughs> diba hindi na so parang Uh, siguro eh, as you grow, hindi naman siya balance, mabilis yeah. mong marirealize eh na ganun pala yung worth ng money, mas ganito pala yung worth ng relationships. Kasi dati sinasabi ng mom ko na, anak, uh, relationship is more than anything. Parang, if if kaya mo naman palagpasin yung pagkakamali ng iba, try to do so. More, kasi sayang yung relationship. Dati hindi ko yung maintindihan kasi iniisip ko, hindi yung mali yung shame. Yeah. <laughs> Bakit ba? <laughs> Tas, do you want to be right or do you want to keep the relationship? Diba? Oh, Tapos, nung later on as I said grow sabi ko nga ah, oo nga if you burn bridges kasi mas mahihirapan ka then eventually you don't know when you need that person or when that person needs you tapos yung fulfillment mo is more important than yung yun ex- ex- extrinsic eh, extrinsic yeah. <laughs> tang twist <laughs> yung mga outside motivation mo mga ganun yeah. may, may mga plano pa ba kayo uh, uh... Do you have like where do you see yourself five years from now? Do you have future plans? Pa? Let's start with Miko. Ako progress pa further with my um, career. Same with industry technical, na to, yeah, technical expertise. Na. Mm-hmm. Like now, uh, nakarearas na ako maging team lead. So it's the management and leadership side. Uh, malapit na ako mag-transition sa uh, babalik ko sa technical. Mm-hmm. Because I eventually, yes, because eventually I want to train people mm-hmm. uh, and uh, impart my skills, experience, and knowledge sa kanila naman. Because yun nga, yung una kong job, teaching. Mm-hmm. I want yeah, to teach because I have the right experience and the right skills and knowledge mm-hmm. to do so and it's very inspi- it's more inspiring to be taught by someone who's been there mm-hmm. kesa yung book learning lang yes, so yes. yun yung gusto ko mas practical no? how about you 
Um, ako naman, five or ten years from now, um, well, I don't really see myself working in the BPO industry anymore. Kasi parang, siguro by, by that time, 40 years old na ako. So, um, siguro, yeah, I may, I may be working in the BPO industry na. Um, but, uh, pa rin, but gusto ko, um, yung passion ko, like life coaching, mm-hmm. their designing, yeah. <laughs> mga ganun. Uh, gusto ko, nagagawa ko na rin sila. Kasi yun nga yung mga passion ko. Yeah, that, that's kasi kaya ako siya tinanong kasi that's the ano um isa yun doon sa mga way para makapag-cope doon sa mga struggles mo ngayon. You, you have to have a goal. Yes, that's Or a, a, a dream or parang future plans. Kasi kung wala ka naman ng plano sa company na yan na uh, mm-hmm. diba, pa nag-stay. Right? Or, something to hold on to. Diba? Kung baga, yun nga, wala kang motivation mm-hmm. daily na okay, 10 years from now manonotice din tong ginagawa ko or may, may fruit din tong hard work na ginagawa ko. How about you, Frank? Do you, do you want to pursue hosting ba? Or ano? Yes, that really is my plan. Been doing hosting. Been really focusing myself sa hosting. Though I've started hosting 2007 ng paunti-unti. Mm-hmm. Um, I've started uh, focusing on it last year, 2016. And uh, It's good. It uh, brings me ang ganda ng emotional health ko ngayon because oh, of fulfill. that. Yeah, enjoy yung fulfillment. Kaya nga nakikita ko yung sarili ko uh, by next year. Um, uh, I hope na talagang ma- mangyari siya ano, pero mangyayari na talaga kasi siya eh. <laughs> <laughs> It's happening. Full-time <laughs> whether I like it or not, pero I like it naman. Full-time hosting na po ako um, starting uh, um, November. This is it na wala nang atras. Yeah. Yes, totoo yan. And I'm also um, checking on other businesses kasi uh, sabi nga nila I'm also listening to the Microphone Club radio show uh, guys uh, nakapag uh, full time ka sa isang bagay na parang performing arts lang siya you have another um, se- parang source of income so you need to to uh, invest on businesses like, yun nga passive income yeah. so you need to have that as well yeah and uh, I, I just like I, I just have a piece of advice for those people na na nakikisagot din sa atin sa tanong na how do you see yourself 5 to 10 years from now yeah. guys you really have to be deep kasi if you will not uh, be sure about what you really want you'll be like a wave a wave eh, in the sea na parang tossed uh, in the sea na ganyan ganyan na wala kang flow. pupunta Oh, yeah. oh, oh. So ayan, kung, kung may mga nag-join po pala sa ating live session ngayon, please participate. Uh, ano yung mga future goals ninyo or mga solutions kung nakakaroon kayo ng mga anxiety na related sa work or may mga issues kayo sa job nyo ngayon, di ba? We have to take a break po mga ka-teammates. So time check in the Philippines, 7.33 a.m. Stay with us. Welcome back to Call Center Radio mga ka-teammates At tayo po nagbabalik pa rin dito sa Call Center Radio Pinag-uusapan natin How to overcome career anxieties But before anything else, we would like to greet our Facebook Live viewers ngayon na nakatutok We have um, Omer, we have Genevieve, we have Ryla, Yugen, uh, Ryla Yagin And then we have Jess yeah. Bendia, Alan Corella, we have Don John Ito yung mga kanina pa, uh, Cleon Lester Chavez Uh, Alet Mercado and of course my mom Cora Bundy nakatutok pa rin and then we have a question here from Den Morales Ratay <coughs> mm. sabi niya ano-ano po pala ang mga current role new now at work at nasa anong state kayo emotionally and professionally ay ano to Uh-oh. so <laughs> ngayon na good thing about me kasi nandito ako sa ano ba to back office Mm-mm. na so less stressful na siya so nasa ano ako um, I'm working as a network analyst for um, a search engine account which is med- medyo laid back to <laughs> kasi feeling ko naman yung mga napagdaanan kong mga projects before may very stressful yun yung mga voice account mm-hmm. nag-aaral ako ng mga napunta ako sa mga finance and accounting mga ganon na nag-aaral ako ng Spanish so ngayon nandun ako sa job na medyo mas madali mm-hmm. Okay, and then so emotional, emotional emotionally professionally a- ako talaga naturally emotionally <laughs> naturally na emotional talaga ako I, I, I have personal issues that I'm dealing with Mm-mm. pero yun nga let's talk about that later how do you set aside your personal issues and maintain the, the professionalism Mm-mm. but before anything else 
Ikaw, Tanya, ano yung nagawa mo raw ngayon? Medyo um, cur- curious nung listener eh. Uh, medyo indirect ako magsagot ngayon. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Uh, I'll be very honest. Um, I'm in manufacturing right now. So, di ba dati I told you I was in BPO. Pero I went out for uh, searching na, na naman ng other opportunities. Nasa manufacturing ako right now. So, my current role, I'm a incoming materials planner. So, medyo super challenging siya. So, I told you I'm an easy e graduate. <laughs> Pero I went on different roles. So, yung sinasabi nila kung what is written in the job description, that uh, I do not really say na 100% yan yung hahanapin nila. It's, it's still up to how you sell yourself. I'm right. always leveraging on my strength. So, sinasabi ko na, uh, at this job, I got it with being so honest dun sa mga interviewers ko na I don't have uh, any experience in planning kasi nirefer lang ako with this. Sinasabi ko, I don't have any experience in planning but I have my strengths ko is ganito. I, I like continuous improvement, ganyan, ganyan. If you find my strengths fit for the role, because everything is a skill eh, kaya mo siyang matutunan. Correct. So if you, if you have your strengths already defined, then let your interviewers uh, uh, evaluate if kaya mo talaga yung role with those set of skills. And kung kailangan mo matutunan yung other stuff, then tuturuan ka naman nila. Hindi naman yun agad na pag may experience ka, alam mo na lahat. Iba-iba tayo ng platforms, iba-iba ng software ginagamit. Then emotionally, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm a naturally happy person. Medyo ano ako, um, no nakatag sa office namin dati na Bibo. Kasi I, I like um, spreading positivity. Pero meron din times na in-acknowledge ko na super sad ako. But I don't want to infect others with with my sadness or something. Right now, I made, I, I'm feeling a bit lost kasi um, I, I have developed something, allergy, na priority ko pa din kasi yung, yung health, yung health mm-hmm. ko. So, I'm trying to make things work, pero I'm still if, um, parang chinecheck ko pa rin sa sarili ko kung kaya ko pa. Professionally, I am happy with ano ako right now kasi nga, I have proven na I don't have to be, I, I'm an engineer by profession, but I, I don't have to go to an engineering role kung hindi mo talaga siya gusto. Kasi uh, unlike you, Miko, na you really like yung uh, IT infrastructure. Ako, um, I took up engineering because I wanted to help my parents. I want them na hindi ako bayaran in college. So I took up a scholarship and ang tinatanggap dun is engineering. Nasa nakasurvive naman ako kahit calculator lang yung gamit ko. I don't like math. <laughs> I don't like math kasi may, may hope pa tayo. <laughs> kahit mga uh, simple math application ginagamit ko yung calculator ko. Kasi you have to maximize things. Pero yun nga, um, it doesn't necessarily mean na you are defined by your degree kasi engineering graduate ka. Dapat engineering courses lang yung, uh, related courses lang yung kukunin mo na job. No, you can actually venture out to what you really like. And eto nga, call center radio not something that I am paid for but I really love this so I will be paying for my fare go- coming here waking up too early in the morning because I love this this fuels me with my everyday routine how about you Nico? I am currently a team lead for network engineering. Mm-hmm. It's a technical role and a management as well. And I am also uh, leading the learning sessions within our project. So, dati ako yung nagko-conduct nung learning se- nung training or learning sessions. Ngayon, I have my teammates conducting their own. Mm-hmm. So, it's very fulfilling. And uh, just recently, this year, uh, I had the chance to um, be a guest speaker. Meron kasi yung company namin, may program siya na um, be yourself, kumbaga. Mm-hmm. So we are talking to several projects, parang ano siya, people hour. So they invite guest speakers from different projects and uh, positions. Isa ako doon, nakatatlong session yata ako. So it was very fulfilling because I I was able to contribute yung ibang value other than my technical skills and then yung inspirational speaking value. Um, tapos sa, sa life naman, personally, very happy because I have good relationship with my friends. Um, I got I still got connection from my friends 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, nagiinuman pa kami. Um, yeah. uh, so that's the personal side. And uh, outside of work, yung hobby, andyan pa rin. Yes, photography. Active ako eh. Sa, yeah. sa photography community. So I we, we earn a bit kapag kami gig na paid. And we do uh, volunteer naman sa, sa within the company. Within the company yeah. Sa big events na nga lang. Yeah. 
very fulfilling uh, in all aspects. Love life, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Speaking of love life, kasama niya. And may dapat sagutin mo pala yun. Love life, te. Yes, then, yes, yes. Parang ano to, soft drink, zero. <laughs> zero. Speaking of love life ni, ano, ni Miko, kasama niya dito si ano, gusto nga natin siya kanina isama yeah. sa guest. Uh-huh. Yun, no? G, yali ka, ano ka, show ka dun sa camera. Say hi, ni, ni, say hi to the camera. Sabi ka dito kay Miko. Eh, wala, wala, wala yung ano. Kuya, pa-switch naman kami ng ano, camera. Si yeah. Ay, namin. Ito, si G. Kasi magka, magka-work ba kayo ngayon? Magkaiba kayong project? Magkaibang project. Ah, oh, okay. Kuya, ano lang, ipapakita no, namin no, no, si G sa camera. No, 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 mag-switch lang kami sa... Ipapakita uh, namin si G sa camera. Switch lang po sa camera. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan, kasi magkasama ka sila sa... Ano ba ito? Mag- magkaiba kayong project, pero same company, right? Ayan, si G. Say hi Ayan, to the say camera. Hi. Oh, lapit ka din para makita ka rin. <laughs> Ayan, di ba? Yun nga, sabi nila, di ba, value yung mga relationships mo or yung mga yung family or whatever, yes. mga hobbies. Para huwag ka na ma- ma-burn out. Mm-mm. Puro work. <laughs> Oo, puro work <laughs> lang. Oo, di ba? Support no, work. Ano? Life, work life balance. Oo, oh, oh, hindi yun sinabing <laughs> ano. Life work, work rate. balance. <laughs> Correct. How about you, Aubrey? So, Aubrey, ano to eh. Um, sobrang daming achievements sa uh, wow. project namin so far. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, yun nga, uh, I work in the same account as mm-hmm. MA. So I'm currently a training, quality, and innovations lead. Mm-hmm. So for me professionally, I think this is another promotion for me. Kasi before, more on training and quality yeah. na talaga. But this time, innovation. And this is really something that I love doing. You mm-hmm. improving processes. Mm-hmm. And then with the company that I'm in right now, they also allow automation. Which is another thing that I that I love. You're learning. Yeah, you're learning. Na so, yun nga, sabi ka rin ni MA na <laughs> achievements kasi nga, in our, in our account right now, so we were able to really develop a lot of automation projects. So, we were able to reduce um, handling times mm-hmm. and um, cost, you know, and all that. And then, we even automate for other companies. <laughs> so, that's that's how, you know, uh, diverse we are. And, yun. and emotionally, I'm very, very happy. Uh, because yun nga, um, even though I learned a lot from being a team lead and being you know a recruiter, but going back to you know the training quality team and the innovations team right now, so this is really something that I'm passionate about. That's why sobrang happy ako emotionally. Parang kahit whatever hurdles or whatever challenges na we have uh, since bago nga lang ako dun sa company, mm-hmm. para okay lang kasi nga gusto gusto yeah. nang ginagawa. <coughs> May kita mo pag yung tao passionate siya dun sa ginagawa niya or parang happy siya kasi kahit pa mag-overtime siya na walang bayad or kahit pumasok, pumasok siya Pumasher. during Pumasher. the... <laughs> Oo. <Uh-oh. laughs> kahit pa pumasok siya ng mga, yung mga out of... yung mga, mga weekends or mga ganun, okay lang. Kasi, um, alam mo na fulfilling yung ginagawa mo or some, it's something that you really love. Yeah. But how about you, Frank? What's well, your, ano daw, current role tsaka kung happy ka ba emotionally or professionally, your, your status daw, professionally? and emotional status po Mary be honest kami naging ako okay emotionally uh, well, well uh, as of now I'm well rested kasi part ako ng um, cloud support ala pa up team ayan uh, yung mga ano floaters floaters <laughs> man, kasi <laughs> nag downsize yung company namin na, that's very honest you will never it happens yep it, it happens ano? sometimes you have to experience it for you to contribute more kapag floaters ng ating ano, topic ayan, so I'm well rested um, I focus more on na um, sa bahay namin um, sa anak ko I've posted recently ng, uh, about sa Christmas uh, our uh, house re- is getting Christmassy na? De, ready na daw yung anak uh, uh, ready na ano? tumanggap ng regalo <laughs> and then uh, yesterday uh, I, I was in uh, Tagaytay together with my wife uh, um, we experienced things na hindi pa namin na experience doon sa Tagaytay and uh, more booking sa hosting so emotionally kasi yun yung mga bagay na nagpapasaya talaga yeah. sa akin mm-hmm. emotionally I'm happy we have planned vacations already so in the Philippines muna. So, um, I'm excited about that. So, emotionally, I'm sabi ko nga kanina, I'm emotionally healthy. Now, professionally naman, I don't consider kasi yung hosting as racket-racket lang eh. I consider that as profession already. Because uh, I am geared towards doing that full-time. Yes. yes. Kaya, uh, yun yung sabi kanina ni Frank na yung mga na- naka-floating ngayon. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, nandun tayo dun sa uncertain spot. Na yes. Hindi mo alam kung Magre-resign na ba ako? Or... Kasi doon mo nakikwestiyon ng lahat eh, bakit ako sinama? Or bakit ako napili? Or bakit hindi pa ako na nare-rehire? Or bakit... Mm-hmm. May ako two months ako noon na, na... Yun sabi ko kanina, na two months akong uh, PTO or paid yun. Mm-hmm. Na nasa bahay lang. And then gumagawa ka ng time. And ano ba to? Yung... 
yung time sheet mo na naglalagay kala ng generic na ano doon kasi wala naman nga talagang project mm-hmm. and then parang I feel guilty na parang sabi ko oh parang it's unfair na parang ganun kaya naman parang yun nga yung parang magre-resign na ba ako or whatever yun yung anxiety noon pero yung tinawagan na ako ng project na to itong project na to na I've been with this project na for 3 years now mm-hmm. parang feeling ko, it's worth the wait. Yeah. Okay, sometimes kasi may mga ganun tayong anxiety na parang we can't wait, na parang we, we keep on rushing things na one year na, parang, di ba, we have our own clocks, mga yes. ka-teammates. Minsan, napit-pressure tayo na dapat mid-twenties team lead na ako. O oh, kasi 30s. mga kakasabayan ko, ganun na. Correct, correct. Kaya naman yun, thirties kailangan, meron, 30s, kailangan, meron mm-hmm. na akong sarili kong ano, may real estate, whatever. Kina. Di ba, don't go with the ano, yung kung ano yung Ano ba ito? Huwag kayong magpa-pressure dun sa nangyari. Kasi kanya-kanya naman tayo ng ano, yes. ng stories. Kanya-kanya tayo Saka, ng... God has his own plans for you. Huwag mong i-compare yung sarili mo agad dun sa iba. Yeah. So, kanina nga, sabi natin, mm-hmm. how do you normally set aside your personal issues? Kasi, like for example, like ngayon, nararanasan, may mga nakakaranas ngayon ng struggle, but they still continue to work. They still continue to show up to to, to work, and then kahit hindi naman na sila ganun ka-driven or motivated. How do you keep on doing it, keep on waking up, although you're dragging yourself to work. Parang, when you were at that time, na ganun yung nafe-feel ninyo, parang, ano yung iniisip nyo na lang? Ako, so, just like what I said a while ago, I just had to keep on swimming. Yun nga, talagang action is the best antidote to fear. Um, yun nga, eh, parang kailangan, um, tuloy-tuloy lang. <laughs> Hindi pwedeng magsastop ka kasi lalo ka lang madedepress. So, eh. Gano'n ka katagal bago nag-decide na I have to leave na? Kasi 12 uh, years ka sa company, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero at what year did you find out na parang I, I should consider moving? Uh, kasi when I moved naman, it's not because I didn't want to be in the company anymore. That's what I tell my agents. Ah, okay. When you leave, it shouldn't be because you don't, you're not happy. Mm-hmm. Or well, it, it's okay naman if you're not really happy. If, you know, it's, it's really unhealthy na. But uh, if uh, as much as possible, leave Not because you're not happy, but because you there's something else outside that you're passionate about. There's Kasi something bigger. Yeah. 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 If you're not satisfied with your work right now, and then when you transfer, ganon din naman yung mga yun because you didn't really change your mindset. Eh. You will still look for things na wala, or mm-hmm. you'll still complain about things na parang you're not you're happy about. So ganon lang din, ba? You're gonna transfer from one company to another. Yeah. So as much as possible, yun yeah. Uh, so yeah, when I left. It's not because I wasn't happy. Mm-hmm. I was real. I was also happy that time because I learned na kaya ko pala. But then yun nga lang, meron talagang opportunity na ito talagang gusto ng gusto ko eh. So yun, that's why I decided to move. Mm, okay. How about you, Miko? Ah, uh, dumdum na tayo sa separation ng personal sa personal. Yeah, how how do you set aside yung yun that time na nagkakaroon ka ng issue sa career? Uh, yun, uh, a lot of research first. Uh, stop and pause. to think. So, pasok ko yung meditation. And then, I reached out to my friends. Talk talaga. Um, kasi mahalaga talaga yung support group. So, you tend to realize some things that you cannot think of about yourself. Mm-hmm. So, if you uh, if you talk to other people, you'll discover uh, baka meron kang hindi nakikita sa sarili mo. So, I talk. Uh, a lot of preparation and being sure of the decision talaga. Uh, yung personal at professional, dalawa yan eh. So, mm-hmm. yung professional side, can I do it? Do I have the plan to execute? And mm-hmm. do I have the means to execute? Yung sa personal naman, nandiyan yung panghihinaan ka ng loob, baka yeah. hindi ko kaya. Stable ka ba emotionally? Am I yan? stable prof- <laughs> um, financially? Kasi kung titig ako, tumigil ako sa trabaho. Um, emotionally, kaya ko ba yung wala kang trabaho? And then you're risking kasi eh. Mm-hmm. Sumugal eh. Yeah. Uh, yun. So, I, I had a firm decision. I prepared. I achieved the certification. I applied for a job. I did great in the interviews. I was hired. At yung sa personal side then, I was willing to be reset back to zero. Mm. Wala akong pake kung magda-downgrade yung sweldo. This is, I had to do this. Uh, um, I, this is a step that's necessary to make the move. I had to do it. And then, can I just add then, yun nga kanina pala, sorry, yun sa, ano, yun sa separating yung personal you know, issues mo. Uh, during that time kasi, you know, uh, I learned something from the feast din na sometimes you just have to be on autopilot or you just have to do what you need to do without have, without really having to like it. Parang, yeah. baga, minsan, pag-iisip mo, tinatamad kang pumasok. 
And then this is also why I tell my agents that not magkang pumasok and then you don't feel like going to work. Pero you notice na sige, maniligo na nga ako and then nag-commute ka na. And then pagdating mo sa work, tapos biglang ay okay na. Or okay na ako. Yeah. Parang yun lang autopilot lang siya. So it really takes a lot of discipline mm. and commitment talaga. Yung doing the things that you're supposed to do even if you don't feel like it. Yeah. May, naba- may nabasa akong quote niya online eh na ano naman sa Facebook diba nagkakalat ang mga quotes quotes so, talaga na parang if you don't love what you do leave if you can't afford to leave love it yes. kasi wala kang choice diba yes. although tinatamaan ako doon <laughs> pero kahit naman diba sa passion mo you will still encounter those times na parang ay parang ayoko na siyang gawin parang tinatamad na ako there will be ups and downs hindi naman tayo like straight lang yeah, talaga yeah eh. ganyan talaga hindi, hindi laging bongga siya, may yes. seasons mm-hmm. yeah and maybe you just have to uh, to think it over na do you really have a goal and is what you're doing right now Um, pointing to your goal yeah. yes mm-hmm. kasi pag ang ginagawa mo is nothing related to your goal then baka you're wasting your time kasi nga ang sabi ng friend ko dati um, uh, sige Tanya gusto mo yung gusto mo magtrabaho pero gusto mo din ng something else try to make it a point na in a day gagawa ka nung gusto mo for one hour that's still 365 hours in a year so at least you're doing something that you really like compared to hindi magtatrabaho na muna ako tapos in the future ko nagawin yung gusto ko yeah. what if wala ng future Sure. Correct, Dava. correct. Tomorrow is never promised and life is now. So, yes. just start doing it. So, mag- mag-share na lang ako na, uh, Frank, uh, nag-share naman na sila ng kanilang mga tips or pieces of advice on how to <coughs> overcome career anxiety. What do you think is ano, your your best takeaway dun sa ating episode? Para ano to, pulot of the day. <laughs> Magandang buhay, ma. <laughs> <laughs> ano... There's life after something happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's always. Uh, you just have to press on, continue on uh, moving forward. And uh, yung sinabi dun sa sing na the good thing about hitting rock bottom, if you are um, on that point in your life, uh, is that there's no, no way but, but up. up. Yes. No way but up. Ang gusto ko dun sa, sa sabi kanina ni Aubrey na parang do not leave because you're trying to because you hate something mm-hmm. kaya naman no? diba sabi nga na do not leave the company because you're trying to escape something leave because you're trying to embrace uh, something better yes. mm-hmm. something that will really fulfill you something that uh, not just financially uh, iba kasi greener pasture agad yung dun sila yung glaring kasi naman talaga yun eh Mm-mm. oh bakit plus 10,000 yung sweldo dito o double yung sweldo dito pero once they're there ma-realize nila na it doesn't matter mm-hmm. yung talagang it's hindi man worth it yep yung and uh, yeah positivity I know that there are other people out there na who've been in my situation or is or are in my situation at the moment na parang y- y- kasi it the thought of uh, asking yourself magaling ba talaga ako ganyan yeah. it can come sa sarili mo eh mm-hmm. you know what one person told me magaling ka Okay, it's just that yung timing at yung lugar kung nasaan ka ngayon is not the the right place for you to be at. Pag umabot siguro yung time na you're doubting yourself, try to contact a lot of your friends. Kasi I did that. There was a time when I transferred na parang, oh my gosh, parang hindi ako nakaka-catch up sa bago kong role. Kasi nga hindi, hindi ko siya forte. Or fort, whatever they, they uh, pronounce, pronounce it. it. But, um nag self doubt ako eh and then uh tinry kong kausapin yung mga friends ko from previous companies na parang hindi ko na kaya parang hindi ko yata ako nakaka-catch up sorry nakaka-catch up so much sorry may ubo ako eh kala ko iiyak ka na tayo alam mo na ako ng friend ng drama so lang hindi parang nag-doubt ako kung kaya ko ba talaga and i started uh, started to regret my decision pero sila yung nagsabi na hindi tana kaya mo kasi nga ganito yung kaya mong gawin ganyan ganyan they try to fill me up then with all the positive yeah. support kasi, system yung yes. sasabihin yes. oh. very important kasi kapag siyempre may anxiety nga mm-hmm. nga and then parang yung mga tao pa gusto ko pa i-bring down diba? mm-hmm. you, you choose your friends yes your your ano siguro ano na lang uh, last ano plug may mga gusto ko plug i-promote ay okay, promote uh, ewan ko social media photographs <laughs> <laughs> greet uh, yung mga, uh, mga, yeah, mga personal greetings ako thank you to all the viewers and the listeners uh, sana meron kayo nakuha maraming makuha um, dapat tan dalawang oras do. <laughs> dalawang oras <laughs> and uh, yun nga as a last message na lang know yourself you write your own stories um, if you can't write your story right now 
have someone to help you write it. And then your friends, your parents, and then your boss, nyo, discover, discover who you are, what you can give to society, uh, what value can you give. Mm-hmm. Uh, eh. Success is there if you know your value and you're able to deliver it to the maximum possible according to your potential. Um, yeah, this is Miko from Photographs by Me and G. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like their ano, Facebook page po. Oh, may page ba kayo? Yes, we have a page, yes, and uh, we accept gigs. Yeah, kung may mga anong kaya, mga ano, um, gusto niyong magpap... Mga events. Events. Yes. yes. Correct, lalo na ngayon na Christmas season, uh, you can hire them. Okay? Yeah. What is your page again? Photographs by me and G. Yeah. M I N G I. How about you, Aubrey? Yeah, so thank you for having me. So this is really a great experience, and I hope that the listeners were able to learn something from the two hour session. They should have. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> okay, so ako de, parang last message, parang pressure. Anyway, so for me, lang siguro, anxiety and depression, yun, it's not really a joke. It's not mm-hmm. something that you ignore. Uh, kasi para minsan may stigma na, you, know, you have for you to be emotionally parang strong parang mm-hmm. dapat hindi mo nararamdaman yung pain yeah, yeah. don't hindi fight dapat it, nara- yeah. Yeah, you, da- you feel your feelings and then uh, do what is you know what's right parang ganun lang and then um, but it's not parang being emotionally strong it's not about having thick skin it's not always about like that mm-hmm. it's not always about not feeling any pain or parang emotional turmoil mm-hmm. you know so just acknowledge na yeah. as a person as a human being you experience that actually if you experience anxiety you know it, at some point at some degree congratulations you're a human, human being yeah. Yeah. and these are actually messages eh. parang yun nga, just like what I said a while ago it, it's a message telling you that there that something has to change whether your internal disposition or external situation so yun lang um, I'd like to greet my parents who's watching right now hello, yun nga, so hello, hello Mr. and Mrs. Aloe <laughs> yeah and then my brothers yeah, tsaka team mo, di ba? Yeah, Nakatutok ngayon sila. Friendly, so, friendly all... Mark, Anne, Kerr, <laughs> Lato sila, Ricky. They're maybe Ethel. watching it's uh, rebroadcast kasi and tulog tong mga tao. <laughs> and then my friends, sorry, last na lang, yung friends okay, ko, the yeah. Beard Queens. <laughs> yeah, Sina, Beard Queens. The Beard Queens, yeah. Okay. Sina Ryan, si Duco, Nini, uh, Basiano, and Ace Fernandez. Hello, hello, good morning sa lahat. Morning. Frank, may mga gusto kang i-plug. Yep, um, uh, please do like my official Facebook page That's Events Hosting by Frank Rizzo You can also follow me on Instagram That's at The Terrific Host uh, For your professional hosting needs Whether it be social or private events uh, Or uh, company events You can always count on me Yes, and guys, please don't forget to like our official Facebook page. We have Call Center Radio PH. Thank you so much dun sa mga nag-like. I think 15,000 plus tayo, di ba? Yep. Yes, thank you so much. Please keep it growing. No? We want to um, inspire and motivate a lot of uh, more BPO employees and even outside BPO employees. So we want to actually generalize. We want to touch people's lives. And you can also like my personal page, uh, Tanya Sempron, sa Facebook and sa Instagram. And my shop, it's Rach Online Shop. Yes, so you can also follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook at MA Buendia HD. And if you would like to watch yung mga previous episodes, I upload snippets and yung previous episode ng Call Center Radio on my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, MA Buendia HD. So, ayun, dalawang oras na naman po ng isang punong-puno ng inspiration, motivation, and empowerment ang nagdaan dito ko sa Call Center Radio. Sa pamumuno po ng aming founder and producer, walang iba kundi ang voice master of the Philippines, na walang iba kundi si Sir Pucholo de Leon Gonzalez. Kami po ang inyong mga katimates sa BPO. I am your Call Center Vlogger, MA Buendia. And I am your engineer BPO teammate, Tanya Samfran. And I am your events host, katimate, the terrific host, Frank Rizzo. See you next week mga ka-teammates and stay tuned kasi the author's voice will be coming right after the break. So, log out na guys. Bye! Bye! It's here! The only radio talk show made specially for all workers of the call center industry. Call Center Radio. It aims to become a platform for conversation about anything related to the call center industry. We'll have different guests every week to discuss some tips, advices, and share inspiring stories of BPO employees. Call Center Radio. Call Center Radio. Hosted by N.A. Buendia, Frank Rizzo, and Tanya Sempron. Every Sunday, 7 to 8 a.m. Only here at DZRJ. 8 10 a.m. H. Rai Media. Ang himpila ng bawat Pilipino. H.
Central Media. Di 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 di